Nerds Talking, the podcast. Yo, we talk about lightsabers, stunning your TV screens, what you want to stream, everything beyond your dreams. Want to talk about movies, sports, or even politics. Go ahead and tune in to us. We'll give you all of it. Whatever you debate, next box of PlayStation, Marvel the DC, Mac or PC. Terra flops when the movie drops, gigabytes, chips, RAM. No matter what it is, we got all of it. Welcome to the show. Nerds Talking, the podcast. Welcome to Nerds Talking, the podcast. It is Friday, a new episode. Welcome in. I'm here with Carlos, Hugh, and Johnny, and I'm Lafayette. We do have ourselves some movie reviews. We'll uh, chit-chat. We'll play a little game called Only One. And whatever else comes to mind during the show. So thanks for tuning in. Wherever you're listening, Nerds Talking, the podcast. Let's just jump into it. We were tasked to watch three movies, one being Moonfall from creator Roland Emmerich, who's created numerous end of the world movies. It's his specialty. And he's he did Independence Day 2012. Uh, he's done a bunch of Doomsday type of movies. Those are the two that stand out to me that I recall. Of course, he did the latest Independence Day, which was really bad. Yeah, anyway, so who uh, did everybody watch Moonfall? All yep. right. All right. Moonfall. What? Wow. Okay, let's just jump into it. Does everyone like Roland Emmerich's movies by any chance? I mean, besides Independence Day. He's not a horrible director. He just hasn't had all winners. I'd put him in <laughs> I'd put him in the M night category. He, <laughs> <laughs> cliched uh and you know they're just disaster movies michael bay same kind of guy as michael bay i don't i would i would have michael bay higher than both those guys um only because roland emmerich only tends to make these type of movies and typically and they well they usually suck honestly not all of them i said the word usually so we can run through them. ones okay we'll run through them real quick uh universal soldier he made yep he yep. made Stargate. Yep. Independence Day. Stargate yep. wasn't that bad. And then he got a chance to make Godzilla. That's uh, the Matthew Broderick he, one. Yeah. The yes. Broderick. But then he Garbage. came back and made then he came back and made The Patriot with Mel Gibson. Good movie. I, I liked it better the first time when it was called Braveheart. It was the same thing. Nah. It was the same thing. <laughs> and then he made The Day After Tomorrow. That one was pretty good. Yeah. It wasn't horrible. Then, that was pretty good. And then he made 10,000 BC, which is also not a bad movie. Yeah. Then he made 2012 starring John Cusack, which was kind of fun, but, but it was garbage. Just kind of goofy. I didn't mind 2012. Made, yeah. Then he made a movie that I have never seen anonymous. I don't know what that is. And then he made white house down the, the first one, not the second one. He made, wait, no, is white house down. No, there's the Angel, Jamie Fox one or it's yeah, the that's one the Jamie with, Fox one. Uh, that's you're not thinking good. of Angel has fallen. Of Gerald, Gerald Butler, right? Olympus has fallen. Yeah, Olympus yeah. has fallen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the White House movie... Down wasn't the worst thing in the world, but I think it came out around the same time as Olympus has fallen. Oh, and, almost exactly uh... the same time. Yeah. Yeah, they're the same. Yeah, yeah, they were. They were. And they're pretty much the same movie. Um, mm -hmm. Stonewall. No, nobody. Never seen it. Never no, heard of it. Never. Then he made Independence Day Resurgence. Ooh. Garbage. Ooh. Garbage. And garbage then he made Midway. Anybody see or hear know what Midway. Midway is? I've seen mm -hmm. Midway. It's a World War II. It is a World War II movie. Yep, yeah, it is. It is um, uh, a big, a big blockbuster style. Uh, not a horrible movie, to be honest. Uh, and then Moonfall. So he definitely has more winners than losers. Uh, a lot more winners than losers. It's almost 50 50, in my opinion. But man, well, oh man. Right. What's funny, it's almost as if he tried to take all the losers and combine them into one movie and came up with Moonfall. <laughs> I, I didn't realize like. I didn't realize that he did Independence Day Part Two because that's what I was thinking when I was watching this movie. Um, I was like, "Man, this is almost as bad. It's it's pretty bad." But what what, 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 is, what is worse? Because I thought Independence Day Two was worse. Uh, oh yeah, I'd say so. And this in Moonfall. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, the game or Moonfall? You know how the game is the bar. Well, Moonfall falls way below the bar. Wow! Like wow. it's that. 
it's the that moonfall bad. Yeah, I got to give it to the game. Really good. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to so the game this week. Bad. Um, <laughs> but we'll start. Uh, we'll start with Hugh. Hugh, your take on Moonfall. Um, what you liked, what you didn't like, and basically what made you think it was a piece of turd. Again, so cliched and so. Could you take even a second, a second to like set up some of the backstory? Just even a second, like uh, the Halle Berry scene where she's, you know, goodbye, son. I barely knew you because he gave me only like two seconds for me to be like your mom. <laughs> it's just horrible. But then I will admit in the last 30 minutes, that was more fun. That was absolutely more fun. Made it a little bit better for me. Didn't see it really coming. I was like, what are they going to do for the last 45 minutes of this movie? Because, I, you know, I kept watching the clock like, what the? And then when they went there, I went, all right, that's fun. So so you assume that the end twist that you're talking about somehow saved this movie in any regard? I would say it made it more fun for me. I didn't really expect I, it. I thought it made it. I thought it made it so much worse. <laughs> Well, I, I just thought it was so cliched and as you, the word, what word did you use? I thought that was a perfect word. It was so um, corny, you know, so corny for the first hour. And again, no development, even if you wanted to like it, like any of the, the characters in it, he didn't give you even a second to have any backstory to any of them to like get to know them at all. So I thought, well, shit, he's just racing through this, these backstories and throwing them together, like, why would you give a shit about any of them? And that's, I mean, again, I'm not, when I say fun, I just mean the action, you know, like an alien. Oh, inside of a hollow planet. Okay. I mean, this movie stars Patrick Willis as the lead with Halle Berry as his co-star. I don't Patrick know. Patrick Wilson. Patrick Wilson. I don't know who his, who the British guy is. He's in, in a bunch of movies. I just don't, don't know. What from Game of Thrones. There you go. Game of Thrones. That's what yeah. it is. John Bradley. Um, you said John Bradley. Mm -hmm. I can't stand those type of characters in movies. Fat British guys. No, that they're thrown into like, you know, the main story arc, and they're the the basement dweller that does his research on YouTube, and I know the truth. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, oh my god! Like seriously. So you're saying Marie's got a chance. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> He oh, reminded man. me of the character on Armageddon, that old guy who like discovered the the comet coming to Earth. Yeah, you remember yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah. But yes. uh, he discovered it, but then they discovered it too without even talking to him. So, I mean, uh, yeah, and it's similar to this. They wouldn't figure it out without that guy. Well, they, they did. did. I mean, they like, figure it out. Like he called, left messages, and nobody gave a shit yeah, about yeah, him. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, well, remember though, he does that. When he's in the room with those other two guys, and in the screen, the the whole place is shaking, coming down. He looks at the monitor sideways. He goes, "Look, look at this!" And then they see this pattern. Oh, look, he was right. And all of a sudden, they call people back. The, you know, oh, we gotta get some people back here because they called off the mission. And um, all the turn just, turns yeah. turns out that he's not a real doctor. <laughs> just he's doctor. He's just been uh, saying that the whole time. He's Dr. So. Phil. What a shot. Uh, like, and and he wasn't even good enough to get the janitor job at NASA. I know. And the job he did have was confusing too. He showed up late. He left in the middle of it. He was always on his phone. Yeah. <sighs> How did he have a job? Anyway, Johnny, your take on Moonfall. There were so many problems with it. And I don't even, I mean, I looked up what it takes to be an astronaut, right? You need a, a master's degree. You need a thousand pi pilot hours. You need um, you need to be a squared away human being. Uh, this guy went from an astronaut and then he shamed or whatever. Now he's I don't know going to uh, Griffith Park. Yeah, he's educating man. kids and too. He's like what, can't, can't afford he, anything. He can't afford anything. He's like just a dirtball dad. So like uh, all right. So now he's a, a piece of shit. It just it was hard for me to. I mean, did you understand? even why he was it made no sense to why he was disciplined he was just like he died and i saw this thing oh she won't cooperate well it's not like i'm lying and all of a sudden he's blackballed uh, from nasa i mean i was like what like they they said it was basically the whole thing was his fault no yeah and <laughs> there's only so much that you can do 
on as an astronaut right like there's only so many buttons you can push there wasn't like a big red button in the glass that he accidentally pushed that was his fault for everything like i don't know it, it just okay all right one after the other all right i'm gonna get over the fact that this part is not believable all right let's go to court let's talk about court the kid's first day in court i mean i i know for a fact that people like come in with gun charges and they leave the same day this dude did a little high speed chase and, uh, and life. No bail. Got life. Yeah. Yeah. He <laughs> put him life. Life. yeah. And then the Weird. judge was like, uh, your son's got not transferred to Rikers. The, the, the <laughs> earth is ending and um, I'm never coming back. So. Oh, that you know. was dumb too. Oh my God. When yeah. You talk to the judge. He's like, sorry, uh, you might not know this, but we're all screwed. I got to go. Your, gen- <laughs> your son's in jail. Like, yeah. let the kid out. <laughs> Yeah, we'll wait till Monday, but yeah, I'm not going to be here. That's what he said, wait till Monday. <laughs> so, if Monday comes around, we can talk we'll about him it. go. <laughs> so then there was that part. And then all of a sudden, Halle Berry is promoted to the director of the world, basically. Oh, you know what? Um, that didn't... And direct, and by the one guy, nobody else knows about this. Just right, the one right. guy that said, <laughs> you've been getting my job, well, here it is. And here, I'm like, here, here's my whole pass. Yeah, I'm like, check, nothing check my ID. Official. Like, wait. <laughs> Yeah, this is a you don't you don't have to make a call. You don't have to like paperwork. Who's gonna yeah. call? Do they even have a phone in Colorado under that <laughs> mountain? I mean, it was yeah, called the president. Was should, should I let the president know? Maybe uh, yeah, other world leaders know. <laughs> right, right. And then she did just take charge, as if everybody knew. Yeah, yeah and then she's in charge. and then everyone just kind of accepted it too. She yeah. went to the the secret warehouse, the archive. Yeah, yeah. Like, hey, who the hell are you? I'm the director now. All right. the well, I'm gonna go shoot myself in the fucking face real quick. I'm, here's all my secrets. <laughs> just, just so many unbelievable things after the other, and um, it was kind of garbage. I, I just can't that see was, any well, parts that I like of the twist, the big reveal, the the, the matrix the moon? reveal. Yeah, the <laughs> he was trying to like combine all these like. Uh, subpar science movies. Um, it was an Armageddon plus an Independence Day plus a Contact plus a. Oh, yeah. It I mean, it, Terminator, Matrix. This would have been a Canon Films' like best movie ever, but it's present day and it's present day garbage. Way yep. worse than the game. <laughs> and thank and Roland, you, thank <laughs> you. You know the funny part is Roland Emmerich blamed like bad box office on social media. That people mm-hmm. are addicted to social media; they don't want to go see movies anymore. They're not interested. Like he had to have an excuse because the studio is probably like oh, this movie probably cost you at least 150 million, and no one wants to see it. This is a turd fest. Man, it was so bad. Um, I feel like in the uh, the writers' room where they're you know doing the script over and. He, nobody threw out any bad ideas they were just being really polite to each other I know. <laughs> what about if there's a... all right so we are the primitive species our ancestors from billions of years ago were the geniuses there's somebody in the moon that's fucking fantastic yeah you're gonna get promoted just like this nasa lady just like that. oh was... how about when how about when the uh fake doctor british um uh, fast food guy died he was living on the moon now yeah, because they uploaded him. I know. So they, they combined that with there upload. You go. <laughs> Somebody's got and, an Amazon and, Prime and, subscription. Uh. And, and what what I was, I couldn't stop thinking about because like you know they were like, hey, doctor, you're going up in space with this. No, no, I, I got irritable bowel syndrome. So the whole time I was thinking, any like bad thing happens, he's shitting his pants the whole fucking time. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking the whole goddamn time. And we, you know, we know he lied because he never happened. Like Ooh. he never shit his pants. I mean, he was in space and he was, I don't know, that type of situation when they landed on the moon, they were getting chased and all that. No, there was a, there was a, a, a part when they landed on the moon and mm-hmm. then uh, there was oxygen apparently. Oh yeah. And he's yeah, like, yeah. oh, it's got a funny smell. I'm like, well, you shit your pants, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, don't, don't tell people you have IBS. I don't know. It's just, I mean, I mean unless was, you're on a podcast, don't yeah. tell people you shit your pants. You know, there was <laughs> not one good part of the movie, like not one. No, I mean, talking least, about you like, didn't enjoy the SUV jumping and anti gravity onto one of those just uh, uh, you know dislocated. Yeah, oh, I saw that part on Armageddon, God. and uh, <laughs> I saw that uh, on I think 12. It was. 
Oh, 2012. No, you're right in the limo. Yeah. I mean, he was and trying to race. Yeah, with the limo, and he ended up getting to the plane real quick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why the movie was yeah. so much fun. I remember watching it. Going, oh, this is so stupid, but it's so much fun. And John Cusack makes it better. Like this is good. It's just a shit movie. Complete shit. And I'm not gonna lie, when I saw the preview for this movie the first time in theaters, I was like, this looks awesome. Because you got no, no it all, good, all it, it really showed is somehow the moon is being pulled towards the earth. You're like, how? I want to know what this movie's about. And thank God I didn't go see it in the theaters. Um, <laughs> and so I saw a preview. Uh, I was part of like a, you know, what do you call that? When you watch a preview and they ask your opinion. Um, test audience. Test audience for a movie that just came out with Sandra Bullock called The Lost City with uh, Channing Tatum. Oh. And then the person beside me said, hey, did you see Moonfall yet? No, no, it hasn't come out yet because we can go every week to watch these movies if we want. Oh, yeah, it was like last week's test audience. So how was it? It was awesome. And she's super excited. Oh, you got to see if you love this and that type of movie. I said, okay, interesting. At the end of the movie, they came up to me, the producers of Lost City and go. They ask her first, what do you think about the movie? Oh, one of the best. So funny, hilarious. I looked at her and go, okay, if this is your opinion on movies. (laughs) Then they come to me and say, what do you think, sir? I said, this movie is not good. It's cliche. I've already seen it five times. Why is Sandra Bullock and Channing Tatum doing the same type of movies over and over? Where somehow a love interest that's 30 likes a woman that's 55 years old. And the movie is horrible. Oh, you can leave, sir. And they let her stick around for the after questions. <laughs> well, and really? Like, really? And, like, and all I thought is, don't trust her. She likes Noonfall. She likes that shit. <laughs> I mean, really? So, yeah, she was so you, excited. You've just, you talked your way out of some free popcorn, son. <laughs> no, no, I got, I got free popcorn. Oh, they, shit. they hey, really hey. told you to leave, though? Like They did. Yeah. Uh, Bad Boys 3 <laughs> was the same thing. Bad Boys 3, go around and ask people what you thought. And they came up to me, and I was like, this movie's horrible. It was predictable. It wasn't funny one bit. You guys gave Martin Lawrence a poor role for the movie. Like, I don't know why, why did you do such a thing. You can leave, sir. And I'm like... <laughs> You guys don't want the truth. You just want people that agree with everything. And, and then Will it. Smith slapped me. Yeah, <laughs> Will Smith slapped me. He's like, keep Martin's name out of your mouth. I was like, I <laughs> And uh, anyway, uh, Carlos, Moonfall. Take it away. At first, I was kind of like, okay, let's see where this goes. And the way it was directed, too, it wasn't like, it wasn't tight enough, I guess. It's like every action scene seemed so slow. And so, I don't know, it was like you were waiting for something to happen and nothing happened that you wanted to happen. I mean, you were hoping, I was hoping anyway, it was, it'd be better than it was, but I don't know, like I said, there's not much more to say. Like when he goes to court and he's trying to explain what happened in the shuttle, I'm like, how do you explain that my cord got wrapped around the shuttle and ended up in the docking bay? How do you explain, I mean, how is it his fault at all? It just didn't make any sense. And then why did she didn't stand up for him? That was dumb too. I mean, she's obviously not a trustworthy person. But they trust her to run NASA, uh, you know, while the world is ending. But I guess they're like, fuck it. Tomorrow's not coming. You she know, was the closest person to him. That's why yeah. she got promoted. Oh, probably. <laughs> probably would have promoted the janitor if he was standing there. <laughs> oh, yeah. Think about bro, the end. To run this the shit. end was literally just three of them. Everybody left. And then. Yeah. So I'm like, who the was, launch your stamp? Yeah, it was. Was it the fake doctor that said was lose the gravity of the moon pulling everything up? Or was it Holly Berry? I forgot who it was. It was a, it was a guy. It was a it was fake the, doctor. The fake doctor. Yeah. Um, yeah, the moon's coming. We can we can use this to slingshot us up. It's just there was really nothing good. No, that was that was Wilson's character. He said that. Was it Wilson's character? Yeah. Nothing good about this movie. But it was I funny. Mean, like nothing. they're they're going to get the Endeavor out of the museum. And they're just marching down the street. This fucking space shuttle is marching <laughs> down the street. This which museum is, piece that which, is going to fly now. Which is well, apparently here's fine. Thing. Here's the thing. I, I went disabled. to go see this thing. I, I, I went to LA to go see this thing. And it's it's a beautiful piece of machinery. I mean, I was just in awe when I saw this thing, right? But then when you see the That's video of how they said. got it into the museum, there's no way they got that thing out as easy as it was and they marched oh. down the street. Oh, that's And I'm the thinking best to myself, yeah. this piece of equipment, I'm guessing all they had to do is put fuel in it and it's ready to go. I mean, did they just... I mean, this thing was just ready to go from the beginning, just in case there is an emergency. I didn't understand that. I mean, it was, it was kind of it was really goofy, not kind of goofy. It's really goofy. You have a good point but, on the endeavor, though. Like, how was it that it always it was already all graffiti and everything? Everything. Yeah, people got there hella quick. Hella instantly. Quick. 
First place and, they went. No, they, already, like, they already looted the place. And, but if, you ever, if you've already, if you ever been there, it's yeah, not you that easy to get to. You can't get it out at all. Oh, you There's can't get no it out. You can get no. it out. Hey, hey, well, no, what are you, what no, are you hey, asking the, educated <laughs> questions? Come on. The, the, like, the don't, don't ask a smart question with the dumb this, right? If you can this, get past that, if you can get past that, yeah, just get past that. The three movies believable. Hey, look, the three of the the three of them took that apart and put it back together again outside the building. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it only takes four nervous. people to launch a spaceship. No shit, that's and all it takes. NASA's been wasting <laughs> hell of money these years. You know what's hilarious? <laughs> if you know anything about the Endeavor, you know how long it took to actually get to the museum. Take the wings oh, it off. Took everything. It took Had forever. to cut down some trees and all yeah. this other shit. They so wouldn't so bump stuff. houses. Oh, it's ridiculous. But they got to the museum <laughs> 20 minutes later, upright and tight. Put some gas in it, let it fly. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, like so not only that, they had to drive it all the way to Lompoc. To get oh, that's this thing right. Launched. It was Lompoc. You know how heavy that thing is? You're not getting there very fast. <laughs> you nope. I think it was attached to a Humvee, too. They which, a, uh... But they had a U Haul. It was on a U Haul. <laughs> to get to Lompoc, you got to take the 101 all the way to the one. <laughs> like you couldn't even get it to Lompoc. Now we're just being too <laughs> technical here. But I think they had a, a, the electric, the new electric sil- Silverado pulling that thing. Maybe, so maybe they we didn't see it, but helicopters took it there. They like, like three or four. Yeah. <laughs> it's right. sad, but they... if if Optimus Prime would have jumped out at any point, it would have been more believable <laughs> oh, yes. than what <laughs> they fucking put in front of my face. What if Optimus you know Prime what? was already in the moon <laughs> fighting the nanotechs? I would have been like, hell yes, hell yes. <laughs> Oh, I, but, I would have. I would have really liked. Yeah, that. if if Endeavor stood on its end and become something that flew on like a creature, uh, that would have been. I wonder you know what the uh, Endeavor. There's a launching rocket right next to it outside, so they could have just put those two pieces together and launched it from there. Launched it from LA. Because yeah. apparently I mean, you can was... fly with only two engines now instead of three. Uh, and one. They, they mentioned... ended up with one. Uh, but <laughs> they, they also with... mentioned SpaceX in the movie. <laughs> so it did. Like something about Elon Musk. Yeah. Yeah. But Elon Musk and I don't know the movie. It was not a good movie, but the twist made it worse. It just made it so much worse. The nanotechs destroying all the moons and they want to eradicate humans because it's basically Terminator and the Matrix combined. You know what I thought was pretty funny is that uh, the moon had all these um, advanced civilization, uh, you know, vehicles inside. Yep. And they fixed up that piece of shit and they're like, all right, fly this back. Like, don't take why, ours. Why, take your own. Well, yeah. Why? Why can't you take the new one? <laughs> It was sound the than yours. Yeah. <laughs> the moon you wasn't having it. My piece of shit. Yeah. No, it's this, funny that this shit was in a museum like an hour ago. What the <laughs> fuck? Give me a new car. <laughs> there was nobody on the moon though. Who was manning these guns? How come you didn't see anybody? Is well, that's just, just the moon. It. Is the, the moon, moon the living thing? Yeah. The no, because the moon was, I think, still the AI that worked. Yes, it, it, it is. was. It, a, was a, um, it was the good emotionless AI, AI or yeah, yeah, the yeah. Good oh, AI. Okay, okay. It was yeah. the AI they created. Yeah, they pay attention to this. Somehow that skipped me. <laughs> See, <laughs> don't ask these stupid questions. Well, now that he knows, though, is the movie better? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh yeah, now that I know that, absolutely, we're not the point. What a p- yeah. and then when they do get back, what they say the the Chrysler Building because it's beside them. How oh, do dude, I New love York? how they get back. The moon is so close; they basically just jump off. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> And then how about um, when the moon starts going back and it's scraping the earth? As it's like, I'm like, you know what? Don't the you think that's be... going to fuck the earth up and knock it off its, yeah, the yeah. earth fuck. Off its axis? Earth is and why wouldn't the moon let people live in the moon now? The moon I seems so awesome. I didn't, exactly. I, didn't, uh, <laughs> I don't feel like they would have had a very safe landing. Right. Like the, a, a lot of debris going in the air would have cut uh, one parachute, but I guess you don't need parachute. I don't know. You know, it reminded me of is the Bugs Bunny cartoon when like the plane is falling and right before it hits the ground, he just jumps out and he's just safe. Which is sort of which is smart. Of. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> the crash just jump right out right there. It would have been great though if there were like cameos in the movie though. Like like as they're about to take off, like Kit pulls up, Michael Knight jumps out. I'll join you. Like oh shit, <laughs> we're safe. <laughs> like <laughs> something just totally like like or on the moon, Will Smith is there for Independence Day and he's been fighting aliens the whole time. Just something like. But he's didn't open hand feel, slapping him though. <laughs> didn't this feel horrible. like like it should have been a high budget Nicolas Cage movie? Oh, it would have been like his so direct much to video. Better. Oh my god, that's another wonder, thing. If you were to recast, it would have been just, it would have been a better movie too. <laughs> like, I wonder if it would have been better in the theater because I mean the the effects and all the sound and everything. Maybe it's not the same, but I'm gonna say no. 
I'm, I'm, I think I'm, what at least Armageddon had a cool soundtrack. Yeah, Armageddon was good, man. You watch don't you think? I'm not. Ruined... I'm not comparing the two. Don't. don't. No, no. What, don't, don't get mad at what, me. What ruined this movie? Because I thought what ruined this movie a lot was the son storyline. If you were to the same thing, son? Yes. I don't son? need you. The, the son, the older son on his journey where he's a, yeah, all of a sudden yeah, yeah. a NASCAR driver. And he totally can not evade. needed. You could have cut all that out, save 30 minutes. And honestly, the movie would have been better just for that. And you would have saved Michael Pena's life if you would have cut that out. Oh, that's right. Michael Pena died because he saved his daughter's life. That story was so unnecessary. I don't know why we always need a love interest or some child that the father, it's always the father. The father's a loser and he loves his child. Right. We didn't need it. Just should have left it on the cutting room floor. And, it, and the guy that played the kid was a horrible actor. Oh, yeah. Spe- no emotion. He was so he just, bad. Speaking and of how which. How did that Asian chick lift the tree off of him? And he should be because dead. of gravity. Didn't you notice? And the gravity. gravity. No, but he should have been gravity dead. and he should have got was, crushed, though. That tree was enormous. Did you? Because so I don't know if you guys noticed. So one of the the uh, film companies is a Chinese studio. So they yeah. had to put her in the movie. The oh, uh, yeah, it wasn't that's unattractive, she, though. No, no, no. But no. That's why she was in the movie. And I almost felt like they just wrote that in for her because of the son's storyline. Like, oh, we got to write an more. Asian actress. I mean, she's from Chinese. She actress? is. Yeah, oh. I think she's a I think she's an Asian actress, but still. Well, clearly still. she's an Asian as opposed actress. to what? Yeah, <laughs> as uh, opposed to as a Hispanic, of... <laughs> Hispanic, <laughs> Hispanic actress. Indian. A geisha. That would have been good. You know, it's like, uh, um, but yeah, this movie. OK, we'll go around the horn now. The, the good old rating. From Moonfall. Oof. Johnny, let Roland have it. Barely a one. Okay. So one. One is one is the lowest. So one. It, okay. it was it was tough, but I'm gonna give it a one. It was right to even give it a score. It's not bad. <laughs> All right. Uh Hugh. There it is, right in front of me. The number oh, one. one. Got two ones on the yeah. board. And that might be one too many. Well, now that I know the moon was actually alive, it was AI. It went up a point. So I'll give it a one. <laughs> Ah, yes. <laughs> I think one's all around. This is probably our lowest rated movie. A one out of five. What a turd fest that movie was. I feel bad for anybody that actually spent money that went to the theater. Then again, I was almost fooled by that preview till that lady said she liked it. And I didn't believe wacky lady. If the moon ever does <laughs> fall on Roland Emmerich's house, please. Just, <laughs> just follow. No, they're going to call him to save the world. Is what they, oh, Cause he hey, knows man, everything. Did you yeah. write a movie about this? How do we yeah. fix this? How many movies did you write about the world being, you know, at the end, but Hey, he, he had made some good movies. So he's, you know what? His movie list is still better than M night Shyamalan and ding dong. So, ah, I put them in the same boat. Uh, no, I don't he's know. made better I movies. Roland Emmerich's made better, better movies. movies. <laughs> yeah. He's made, he's made better movies. Um, can't win them all. Even Spiel, even Spielberg makes shitty movies. So can't West win them all. West Side Story. West Side Story. There you go. All right. Well, we'll take a break. Right here on Nerds Talking a Podcast. Right back after this. Hello there, and thank you for joining me. This is Daniel Talks About Star Wars, the show where I do exactly as that name suggests. I am the titular Daniel, and on each episode of this podcast, I will be discussing something from the multimedia empire that is that galaxy far, far away. Often I'll be doing it solo, but sometimes I'll be joined by guests. So if you're a like-minded individual, or hell, even if you're not, and you disagree with everything I have to say about the franchise, give us a listen. I'm just a fan talking about something he loves. Daniel Talks About Star Wars available wherever you listen to podcasts welcome back to nerds talking the podcast here with carlos hugh johnny and i'm lafayette remember to rate subscribe download review turn on notifications we are everywhere and anywhere you can get your podcasts and if you like our show tell your friends tell them all next time you have a christmas card or an easter card whatever kind of holiday card at the bottom put p.s remember nerds talking the podcast every friday where your podcasts are found we'd appreciate it all right, let's move on. We actually have another movie, uh, Death on the Nile, right? It's called Death on the Nile because the first movie was called Murder on the Orient Express. This is not necessarily a sequel, just another part of that, uh, I guess you'd call it movie franchise. This movie stars Gal Gadot. Is it Army Hammer? Army Hammer, yep. And um, the director. Kenneth Branagh. Yeah. And fake Margot Robbie. I, um, man, it's funny that you say that because the whole time I saw her on screen, I'm like, hey, that could be Harley Quinn. She's from the TV show on Netflix, very popular called Sex Education. And um, oh, really? Pretty good show. I right, right away I was like, oh, look, she's here. Because when you watch that show, you also think Margot Robbie. Uh, mm-hmm. Were there any other big names? The, the other guy, uh, Tom Bateman, he was in the Murder on the Orient Express. So Murder on the 
Death on the Nile is actually kind of a sequel. I never saw Murder. Wait, which character is this? We're talking. And she just uh, said. what's the name? Is Boke? Oh, we talking about. I know who you're talking about. Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah, um, and also, uh, what's the comedian that's in the movie? Russell uh, Brand. Russell Brand. Russell Brand. Okay, there we go. Movie is um, it's if you've seen Murder on the Orient Express, it's it's kind of a, a I don't know what would you call it a formula plot, right? It's it's the clue. It's the, it's the game clue. Who done it? Who done it? Who murdered so and so? So we'll start off with Johnny. Death on the Nile. What did you think? Where'd you watch it? Where can people watch it? And give us your insight. No, where can people watch it? That's a good question. They can watch it on HBO Hulu. Max and Hulu. So when I was watching it, uh, I, I saw The Murder on the Orient Express. I really liked it. I liked the Kenneth Branagh character, uh, Hercule Perot. Um, I liked his the way that he sets up the story, builds up the plot, and solves the crime at the very end. Um, wasn't a big fan of this movie, though. Uh, maybe it was a script. Maybe it was... I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. I think I liked it. Didn't really like it as much as the first. I don't think they they took the detectives' skills and really uh, shown them through on this movie compared to the first one. Did you find it boring? Because I did. Uh, I found it a little bit boring. I mean, I just found myself like you know in my head accusing everybody, just like the <laughs> detective. I'm like, all right, well, this person did it. Okay, well, never mind. This person did it. Well, I mean, that's I mean, that's the the whole idea, right? They want you to make you think this person has a. Um, motive everyone has a motive everybody there's not one person in that movie that didn't have a motive did you i asked both of you guys did you guys know who done it after the first murder yes i had my speculation yes right away okay Johnny. i i thought the same thing i mean what what happened is after the first murder i'm like well obviously it's it's these these two people that are involved and then it takes the focus away and then all right well maybe it's these people but then it comes right back to your first assumption yeah no i was the same way i i figured it was who it was and when fake margot robbie was in the picture it just we can kind of put two and two together like well only one person can ever keep letting her know where you're at you know there's right. no way she just pops up all the time little little um what do you call that uh what do you call a spoiler gal gadot is the first victim in the movie she uh, gets shot in the head. Let's give you a little insight. Uh, yeah, I wonder if they did that because, hey, we got a big name, but you're only going to be paid this much because you're only in the movie this much. But Wait, I don't think know. Gal Gadot goes by the hour now? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think she, she's made it past, past hourly wages. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I, don't, I didn't see the first one. I assume it's a better movie, but this one, like I said, it just wasn't that interesting. It was just kind of boring. And and the whole Gal Gadot marrying Army Hammer's character wasn't wasn't believable. They met what a day and were married two three days later or whatever. It was kind of like eh, whatever. I I kind of want to see like an NC seventeen version of this because Army's got to have that big dick energy, right, to be able to just blow we'll, up we'll just, uh, fake Margot Robbie and then then move on to Gal Gadot and then just yeah, convince and then land her himself to, like, a Wonder Woman. Yeah. yeah, he's he's got to be able to just lay that p fucking pipe down, right? And he's broke. And he's super broke. And he's super broke. <laughs> and the, and the other guy is a better looking dude. The other guy that that likes the daughter of the jazz musician, and he seems oh, right. to have money. Yeah, oh, whatever. His he's got a really controlling mother that oh, hires oh. a detective to check the, up on the yeah. black people. Like I'm yeah, all right. Check on the so, black so people. she's racist. <laughs> so she's racist. But you like how at the end. All of a sudden, she's hugging her, and like, well, oh, they, they yeah, share yeah. they share a, a, the same loss. Um, yeah, but I guess. they found a common but, interest. So <laughs> murder <laughs> ends racism. Ah. I think we've solved something here, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second, let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It was it was just kind of boring. I just I don't know. I think those type of movies are interesting, like you said, because you're guessing the whole time. Oh man, who's First, I was just thinking, who's in the who the first person murdered? It's all I kept thinking. Who's the person? Who's gonna get murdered? Because I didn't know. I had no no inkling that it was gonna be Gal Gadot. She kind of hinted it through, like always feeling like she was being like watched or being followed. And but I had no idea. And then you know, as I said, it's the fun of the movies. It's just who done it. But you, you're right about one thing. He doesn't seem to use his detective skills. And they they tried to establish it in the beginning, and they did this on Murder on the Orient Express too, where. He solves a big crime in the very beginning. 
in the beginning of this one, he's a soldier and, you know, his detective skills like determine this is the best time to attack. They suffer like very few losses and they tried to establish his skills, but it just didn't, didn't really, I didn't really buy it. What'd you think about the fact that nobody working on the ship ever also came into the scene? Nobody seemed to care outside of the people, the main people, nobody helping on the ship. No captain ever popped in and said, what the hell's going on on my ship? Nobody at all. It was just the main people over and over. I was like, where's everybody at on the ship? No one's hearing gunshots. This is, this is overseas, my friend. <laughs> Vacation overseas, you pay the price. You no, no, know no, about that but, shit but that happened to the crew just, now? The, yeah, the, but the crew doesn't give a shit. Like, the the crew's like, we don't get to stay on the boat? We're, we get to leave at fucking midnight? That's fucked up. We don't Not give a shit what happens on the boat. What was the, the crew, their only focus was, or Certainly. their only job was to, you know, be the detective's right hand man do all the searches and things like that like yeah yeah no pretty much yeah and then when they found the the woman dead in the rotor or the rudder it's almost like they just pulled her out and then they disappeared okay we'll leave her here for you guys <laughs> we gotta go <laughs> rough like, week yeah, <laughs> yeah <right. laughs> another one <laughs> uh, at least they man. didn't shit the their on. pants carlos would real quick what do you, what'd you think besides what we we're talking about here i didn't understand the purpose of the opening of the movie it was absolutely yeah, a waste either. of time and pointless. Yeah. I mean, kind of the guy kind of threw me off. It did. I'm like, what? What's going on here? Okay, cool. Did you, did you, you see the beginning farmer. of, or did you see the murder on the Orient Express? I did, but I wasn't really paying that much attention to it. In so the beginning the of that movie, like that too? it kind of like everyone's gathered around in like this square, and he's going over all the evidence and like the who done it of it. And there's this part where he like sticks a sword into the wall. I don't know if you, it, it, in the very beginning, so I wouldn't blame you if you don't remember, but he sticks his sword into the wall. Um, and when he finally like t- says who the killer is, the killer attacks him and then he runs into the sword in the wall. Like, or, or he uses a sword in the wall. Like he knew, but, he but knew I the, get it. No, that, that, the that's, killer okay, that gonna, opening, I get it. That's, that's a setup. That he's yeah. a de- 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 detective. This one made yeah, it in this sense. one, it's like, hey, captain, look, the birds are flying. Every day they fly at a certain blah, blah, blah. I'm like, and then they go and take the city back or the town back, whatever. We capture the bridge, and then he, yeah, it was you know, the captain, blows his shit up. I'm like, and then it was just a bad, bad way to show his skills. I guess it was a really bad way to show his skills. It didn't really show any skills. He Not just, much. He just got. Lucky. He just observed yeah. birds. Yeah. And said, oh and wait, then, we should do it now. Like, and then he's at the hospital. He becomes two faced all of a sudden. He rolls over. His face is all fucked up on one side but then when it goes to the present time his face is fine yeah and i don't get like the, that... the mustache would have well, been the mustache fucking covered. four feet wide if no i yeah. cover that yeah, the, I know, the, right? the real scar but when you look at the the scar on his cheek it was the damage to his cheek was far worse than that under his lip but at the end of the movie when he shaves he's got that hideous scar under his lip which actually shouldn't be there if the one on his cheek is not there well and the thing too is your hair doesn't grow back over scars over a scar at all so his well, mustache would not have now? been that pretty you're well, a doctor now i have numerous scars where the hair never grew back oh you should yeah. see his ass Weird. yeah you should see my ass transplant <laughs> head um, but he had a very fancy quadruple stash oh he had a yeah it was, it was a quad <laughs> i liked it I'm like, and why did he shave <laughs> it i have no oh, idea maybe to show his dumbass the best the part lady, of the movie didn't make any sense to me either yeah like that the ending wasn't needed either where he goes back to to the London thing, or the, the jazz yeah. ladies, yeah, yeah. The movie it was, was shit. I mean, she if yeah, she convinced whatever. him to start dating again, go out and date, dude. You don't want to go back to her, pick somebody. Let's rate it. And they didn't give me a chance to re- review the goddamn thing, yeah, yeah. review the beginning and the end. Yeah, that's what you get. <laughs> Johnny did the middle, <laughs> Johnny covered the middle. You get the beginning and the end. Fair enough. Yeah, uh, Fair I mean, enough. what is it? But it was, people, but it was four huh? people died, five, yeah, people I think, four. total. Five. five people total. five people died in the movie yeah, yeah oh the dead. the uh the tragic death oh of that's the, the thing too at the oh, end Johnny. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so dumb when she used a 22 i don't know if a 22 is gonna go through him and then into her 22 is a little i've debated this in my head for a long time because you know as a man you think all right 22 that's a little bit bullet and yeah a bitch a gun bit, but yeah um I believe it was uh, Robert Kennedy who got assassinated with 22. I mean, they work. And 
just the the machismo inside of me is just thinking I would never die from a twenty two. But don't pr- try and prove me wrong. Uh, that's just what I'm thinking. Um, Let's put that to the test. Is it possible? Probably not. Well, because I was thinking because Gal Gadot's character, Lene, right? Is that her name? Lene Dorsey. Mm-hmm. She got shot in the temple at the 22. Clearly, the bullet didn't come out the other way because the other side, because there was no blood on the pillow. So I'm guessing it just rattled in her skull like a 22s usually do. Because I don't mean to bring the show down, but I found one of my neighbors one time and she had put a 22 to her head. I found her in her kitchen. Yep, and there was no exit down. wound. There was no <laughs> exit wound. It just kind of rattled in her brain. <laughs> so I'm guessing a 22 would not have gone through him. And then but you know her. what? I've, I've, I've seen one, two, and it was like a fresh, um, fresh shot. And they go I don't think there was. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't think it was. a. It was a nine. And it, I don't think it went all the way through. Or the exit wound wasn't what you would think. Just uh, blowing it out the side. It wasn't Didn't a movie that- exit wound. Yeah, yeah. Didn't um, that gun have like two barrels? No, it held four bullets. So it was like one okay. bullet per chamber. I'm, I would, <sighs> if if I were him, and I got this fucking big dick energy, I'm like, bitch, kill yourself. Like I can do <laughs> fine in prison. I can be, not even be that. Out, and I can. Why would, he, why would they go through that whole entire plan for the for the outcome they they had when Margot Robbie was like her best friend or whatever it was? She could have just stole from her because they they really just wanted like that necklace and then. They thought they're going to make the fortunes from her when she died, blah. It's, and why didn't that guy already assume? Oh, I just married Gal Gadot. I'm good. <laughs> like, I'm rich now. I'm it's good. Right. Well, the other thing, too, is that when he shot himself in the leg, clearly with fake Margot Robbie is not a good shot. And he shot himself in the shin bone. You idiot. You could have just shot yourself in like the calf or something, right? I got to jack up your leg like that. You're not very smart. I just, I thought when they killed each other, it was. It proved the movie was, was pointless. This was all but pointless. they didn't kill each other. She killed him. Well, I know, but I'm sure he wasn't whispering in her ear. Well, no, because he thought they could get away with him. And we kept saying, we're going to get away. Well, that was We're dumb, too. He was like, if we go now, we can get away. Really? Hercule got a fucking nine pointed at you. Or was it a 45? I, was it 45? I don't know. It's just... where, you, where did you think you were going to go? It would have been better. Whose boat if... were you going to take? There's no boats attached to this thing. He probably fucked one of the, the maids. <laughs> Uh, pretty he, sure he's got so many people. He probably under just his danced belt. with her because when he was dancing, he was fucking. Him. That was good. That was some great dancing. <laughs> I do think when that, that dance part came up. I'm like, what is the purpose of this? I'm like, yeah, it was so on the dance dumb. floor. But then Gal Gadot came out. I'm like, oh, he's fucking her on the dance floor too. And it just yeah. established like a jealousy between. But when they came out and he said Mr. and Mrs. Dorsey, I think that's their name, and it was Gal Gadot, that threw me for a, a loop. I'm like, whoa, that's what's not what I was expecting. Hercules would have at the end said. And I'm Billy the Kid. I would have been like, the movie's so much better now. But no, nope. you know what? I, I didn't find All it right. boring. All right, you I see what did. you're doing here, <laughs> and it's unnecessary, sir, because old Henry. Was it better I than the, the game? <laughs> was it better than the game? This was yes. definitely better than the game. Better it was game. better than the game. Yeah, I'm gonna... I didn't find it as boring as you guys did. I just found it. I just, it I just found it. Dragged, I don't know. Did, but it's it still... dragged. I didn't. It, it just wasn't in, intriguing. Like, oh, okay. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, Johnny. I'm just trying to remember um, Murder on the Orient. Didn't like everybody take their turn murdering Johnny Depp? It was a group stabathon. Yeah, they, it was like one guy went fucking, in and killed him. And then another and then guy they went just in all and stabbed the dead. shit out of him yeah. because the dude um, murdered a kid. Like he, he had a kid for ransom. They paid the ransom. Kids ends up dead anyway. And then they figure out who it is. And then they just all take turns stabbing the fuck out of him like prison style. And then at the end, Hercules was like, well, uh, nobody's guilty, basically. Like, nobody's going to jail. Turned a blind eye to it. Mm. Right, because the dude was a bad dude. I guess yeah, I be because he deserved it. Now. Okay, well, I it did I hurt your feelings? No, I shit. care less. Yeah, <laughs> care less. It's better if Hercules was like, I'm building a key. Anyway, uh, review time. All right, Carlos, one through five for Death on the Nile. I'll give it a three. Woo! A three. Wow. Yeah. Wow. It wasn't horrible. It was... Johnny, death on the Nile. I'm going to give it three plus a G. That means it's a three and it's better than the game. Ooh. Oh, a three G. A three, a three, three G. G. <laughs> wow. Okay. I'll give it a two and a half. And that's pretty much it. So there you go. Our review of death on the Nile. Now on HBO Max and Hulu. Catch it on there. It is a sequel to 
Murder on the Orient Express, which these guys already ruined for you. So no need to see it. Well, it came out in 2018. If you haven't seen it by now. Uh, well, we did just ruin the other one, too, though. So it's like it really matters. That's true. But and you don't we, have to watch and, them in order. Really. And you can't you can't ruin Moonfall. No one can ruin Moonfall. It's already been no, they ruined it themselves. Yeah. They did exactly. a very, very good job of cutting that yeah. piece of shit. Together. Just, <laughs> wow. All right. We'll take one more break here on Nerds Talking to Podcast. We'll be right back after this. Once upon a time, a trio of bards, the narrators three, were called upon to unite the realms with an episode by episode deep dive commentary on the fairy tale laden soap opera Once Upon a Time. Tune in for weekly retrospect sprinkled with judgmental fondness and hysterical disappointment as the narrators three laugh, throw shade, and have the occasional emotional breakdown. If you find tales of costuming, character takedowns, and plot devices that come with a price utterly charming, the narrators three invite you to join them for Once Upon a Rewatch, available on all major platforms where podcasts can be found. Welcome back to Nerds Talking the Podcast. Maybe we should be Nerds Talking the Movie Show today. Nerds Talking the Movie <laughs> Reviews with Hugh, Johnny, Carlos, and I'm Lafayette. You didn't hear Hugh that last segment. Well, Hugh didn't watch Death on the Nile. He's a very busy man. I didn't and get to it. I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Yeah, I apologize. No need crowd. to apologize. You, you hear Johnny's you rating listen, of, to, listen to our review. Did you hear Johnny's rating? You'll get everything you need. I think I kind of sort of heard a three. He I was trying to. A, he gave it a 3G. Better than the game. Okay. Yeah. Three uh, plus a G. Three G means and, better you, than the you game. You can't say anything because you didn't see it. No, so, I didn't. So, uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Okay. We'll move on to, uh, is it just called Contractor, right? Not the contract, just Contractor. Contractor. Starring Chris Pine and Keith, Kiefer Sutherland, right? Yeah. Yeah. Kiefer and makes an Brian appearance. Foster. And ben, yeah, Foster. And ben, ben Foster. Ben Foster. Ben Foster. The guy we oh, talked so. about, the guy we talked about last time who I like his yeah, character. Yeah. I was very surprised to see Kiefer Sutherland in that movie. I was like, oh, what a surprise, surprise. Look who showed um, up. <laughs> the movie was actually made in 2019 and completed in 2019. It just took three years to put out. So um, I wonder if they just couldn't. Fi- well, you had. They should have waited longer. <clears throat> yeah, no, you had COVID. And I'm pretty sure a lot of studios <laughs> didn't want to put it in theaters. It, yeah. Anyway, we'll get into it. Um, the movie is about a discharged. He was he was disarmably discharged, right? That's right. He was, fired. Honor, he was honorably discharged. Oh, honorably discharged. Oh, but but they took all, all his, his uh, oh benefits. everything benefits, no benefits no retirement, gone. nothing, because he had a bum knee and he took a H-G-H. steroid. Oh, a so, bunch, not just so, HGH. Yeah, I know, but well, he had like a tranquilizer, ketamine. I think they said HGH. Yeah, uh, I mean. This, what, this, what, what? I, big this deal. part, big deal. This part, I, mean, I did not. Uh, he's in the military. I did, I did not believe this. He's not no, because training. they were giving soldiers speed during the Vietnam War just to get yeah. them through the goddamn war. It's right. not an am anymore. This. They, yeah, some, I, I like this your man reference. gave his all for the country, and they tripped it all back. Yeah, they give Koreans Took bullets to the face in Korean War. What exactly? <laughs> <laughs> But, but the like, one, but they but came the command with Asian oranges. Yeah. Oh, good one. <laughs> was that is that STDs or I don't know Asian oranges or Asian wives? Oh, I picture they came home with. Asian oh, they came home with Asian wives. They came home with Asian wives. Oh, yeah. And yeah. there we go. Uh, I feel like you guys wrong with that. It's true. I feel like you're offending me on many levels today. There we go you're again. Like talking shit about uh-huh. the veterans. And if Keeper Sutherland and turned around Asians. and said, "I'm building a kid," anyway. Shut um up, <laughs> <laughs> didn't you turn um, didn't he turn around and you were like oh shit that's key for i was kind of surprised when when that when he that character showed up i was like no shit i don't really see him much i had like through the clock you know like on 24, <laughs> yeah i know Boop. 24 <laughs> hours Boop. uh so is it, it he's a um dishonorably oh he's an honorably discharged military it's no just an army right no type of title or whatever yeah he was a special forces and oh, a okay. ranger and um, he basically um, joins forces with what do you call those groups? Those independent uh, mercs, private mercs contracts. Being, yeah, there you go. Private contract. Gun, gun for hire, basically. There you go. But he and has he, his own company. He has his mm-hmm. own company. Yeah, right. and he just joins uh, Kiefer's group to go on a mission, and that's kind of your setup. So we'll start off with Hugh, contractor. Go. Nah, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I. I, and you have to remind me because I was thinking about this yesterday. How did it end again? 
I can't remember the last scene of the movie again. Can you remind me how it ended? I mean, I thought it was yeah, very. He, t- go ahead. He's he's in his car. He's looking in his rearview mirror at his family, and then like he opens a car door and says, "Hey, Jimmy." And then that's how the movie ends. Oh Jack. yeah, okay, yeah. That's why I don't remember it because it wasn't a it was a nothing ending. Yes. Uh, but it but it reminded me of like uh, the guy from uh, Goodwill Hunting, not Damon, but the. Uh, uh, Matt Damon, when he was doing the Jason Bourne, the Jason Bourne movies you know, where you know, nothing happened to him ever. Mm, I cannot compare this to Bourne. Well, I'm not saying it's even remotely oh, okay. as good as you're saying. No, that, I know you're saying same just, idea where yeah. he's kind of on the run. Yes. Because uh, some bullshit set up the idea. Yeah. Yeah. in yeah. the game. No, I'm not saying that. Uh, no. We'll get to that at the end. Hold your, hold no. your horses there, buddy. Um, no. So just. Yeah. You know, and and what what happened to Foster? I, oh, Foster was killed, I guess. And I just thought, man, it just so quickly evolved into like they're after him, and that's it. And I liked, I sort of liked the idea. The guy was, you know, it's a t- it's a fairly typical thing to say the guy you're contracted to kill actually is doing something good, not bad. And you know, I've seen that in half a dozen movies. That same idea. So it just seemed like a same thing, just recycled again with Chris Pine doing it. Yeah, that's the that is the exact you basically have my review. It's a recycled movie. It's a you're hired. Ha ha. You're the new guy. We're just going to set you up. And then he figures it out and then it goes back and forth, back and forth. And then he wins at the end, just like uh, I think the movie Eraser with Schwarzenegger is the same way. Yeah, well, Schwarzenegger probably was like three or four of those type of movies, but Eraser sticks out. Um, yeah, it was super generic, a super generic, super cliched uh the guy, you know, Foster dies, but tells him the truth or whatever. And then so on. like, it's just, it was not, it wasn't good. It wasn't horrible. Carlos had a point. This movie was delayed because people probably, studios probably watched it and went, eh, this is so generic. Like, this right. is a red box movie. Like, no one wants to see this. And Chris Pine has no real pull anyway. People don't really want to see him. You know, what's his right. biggest movies? Star Trek, probably. Star Trek. Yeah. And it's not because of him. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's an ensemble. No, it's, it's an ensemble. Well, it's a comedy Star Trek. One. This means war. It's Star Trek. You one. could put Chris Pine in Star Wars. People are going to go see it. It's Star Wars. Like, right. Right. You know, he's not a standout. To me, he's not a standout actor. He's good, but he's you're not going to go see him because he's in it. But uh, yeah, it was super generic and recycled. And we've seen it. Uh, Johnny, just like Johnny, generic recycled. We've seen it. Go for it. <laughs> hmm. I don't know how to begin my review Dang. now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, begin my, my review with tears in my eyes. Have you met Lafayette, Johnny? Have you met Lafayette? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm going to disagree with you. As a veteran, I feel like this is a spot on movie. Everything was accurate. And, um, and I'm wow. completely kidding. That's a bunch of bullshit. It was, <laughs> I mean, from the beginning, like. You're a veteran bullshitter? <laughs> yep. Yep, that's it good. i'm billy the kid go ahead um <laughs> i didn't i didn't buy that because of the drugs in the system they're going to kick them out like that i mean there's there's a process of getting kicked out i've known many people to get kicked out of the military and uh for him it was just like that oh by the way no benefits so the past 20 years of your life you get nothing i didn't believe any of that i i thought there was some 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 scenes missing and then it, it would kind of explain it if they shot and then COVID hit and then maybe there's some scenes that they missed or decided not to shoot because I felt like something was missing from this movie. It was okay. I felt it was better than the Michael B. Jordan uh, war movie one. The Tom Clancy one? Yeah. Same type um, of movie. Good call. Another recycled plot. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought it was better than that, but not by much. Uh, I mean, the action was okay if if his knee was so shot that he couldn't walk you know after the adrenaline wore out or whatever he shouldn't be able to kill anybody at the very like last scene right right his knee like just when they they showed it it would look like like a turkey leg after thanksgiving just all mangled up and fucked up like shit i so i didn't believe that part he killed the way he killed everyone chasing him Yes. Like n- nobody right. stood a chance. And I was right. like, you don't come off like that. You just you don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm you're 
presence doesn't come off like you're that badass. Like when you did get discharged, you seem like a sad sack. You went home, told your wife, oh my God, let go. And then this guy gave me $50,000 to strange you, but he don't want nothing. He's a friend. I just got to do one mission for him. Like I'm like, what? Don't trust that man. Why did he give you $50,000 for it? <laughs> like, like, what? Oh, anyway, try to continue. I was thinking the same thing about his knee, though. I mean, if this happened in the military, wouldn't they have had surgery on it? Wouldn't they have fixed it for him? Uh, I mean, he, he would have about. also been a disabled veteran, right? and he would have yeah. gotten a million different benefits. But because he had steroids and some some tranquil, tranquilizers in his system, I'm pretty sure Joe Rogan might recommend it, everything that he took. So he's, he's good. <laughs> yeah. All that shit works. Like, and didn't it seem like he only took that so he can swim? Like, like I'm taking this so I can swim. Like, I, I'm like... Cause it sort of get out of the pool and all that. And then all of a sudden he was discharged. And I was like, uh, like he was trying to rehab his knee in the pool. He was obviously taking the drugs so he can keep up with his company. Yeah. No, Johnny is yeah. right though. Yeah. If your knee's that bad, they're not going to let you continue what you do. They're going to yeah. make you a disabled. Well, if you vet. get a hundred percent disability, uh, as a veteran, you get great benefits. You get a retirement. I mean, there's no, no way that the, this board of three people like can just take away everything that's owed to you, you know. Um, it just doesn't work that way. So, next you know, time around, money. if they need a military consultant yeah. with oh, a very oh, little you, experience, huh? yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is so, like, 100% me. I've next got time, time they make, you know like, what they didn't take, oh. they didn't contact you. <laughs> They didn't What's take that? a GI bill. Re, re, remind me of that again, Johnny, at the end, because uh, I have a story for you. That's not directly related to that, but it's it comes from experience on a set and ignoring the people with the experience and using people who have none. Are you mm. talking about Mad City again? Yes. Mm -hmm. I haven't wait, talked is, about it once. Wait, what I haven't talked Mad, about it wait, on this wait, show. Wait. What is Mad City? <laughs> we'll get to it later. Let's let's hold on. Well, no, okay. let me no, let me tell you what's in my head. Because I got a residual, I got a residual check from them. Oh, can we well, guess how much? Oh, it was like five bucks. Ah, I was going to say seven. Um, <laughs> 50 cents. Yeah, well, so I was Wait, cast. What is Mad City? You got 30 it's seconds. The Travolta go. movie. You no, know, the Travolta. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. I remember. Dustin Hoffman movie. So yeah, I was yeah, yeah. I was casting that to be an angry cameraman who says under my breath, you know, you're an asshole to the Travolta character. So instead, they didn't shoot anything. I didn't shoot anything. Yet I somehow still get residuals, which is interesting. Um but the person they had advising the guys, the camera people was this woman from L.A. who I think was a camera person. But everything they did was wrong, just wrong, like lights blazing, standing behind the people they were trying to shoot just because they wanted to see them in the background as opposed to where they actually would be. So, again, to Johnny's point, it doesn't matter. It's all what looks good to them or what they think looks good. It has nothing to do with whether, whether yeah, it's you real. To, you have to also understand most of the audience has aren't they're not aware. They think there's a only a three person panel that discharges you <laughs> and then no. your friend runs out of the <laughs> no, panel. No, I know. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. I know a guy. It's going to be OK. <laughs> I was like, yeah. what? Yeah, what that's you? what I'm getting at. Friends? You just discharged me. <laughs> Chris right. Pine, thank you for your service. I feel yeah. so bad for you. Uh, and then, of course, he salutes. I thought he was going to punch the guy out. <laughs> oh, that's another thing, too. They may try to make it like I don't care what they did. I'm gonna suit the flag as I walk out because I'm a. Soldier. I know. I'd have been. That, that, that's a. Uh, that's flag. a tradition on no, on no. posts. I and I get that he did but it. But he was discharged, man. He's no longer part of the. Fired. Yeah, uh, but he felt you, like he was he was wrongfully <clears throat> discharged in his mind. When when you're on a military post, everyone assumes that you're in the military, and to if you if you're the one who's just walking while there's you know the the reveille is playing you're going to be like bombarded with people like mostly young officers like and then they're just going to all come up to you what are you doing you're disrespecting me. so if you're on the military post and besides he was he was freshly discharged five minutes ago mm, 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 mm. um i'd have been punching the guy out mm. and then walking right off <laughs> well nobody mm. approached him okay well um <laughs> carlos i think we're still in the middle of your review before mad city interrupted go ahead carlos <laughs> but what i didn't like there wasn't enough background story like johnny said something was missing and it's like spend a little more time what i didn't like was it was one of those recycled movies where the hey the new guy on the team all right okay we got a new guy he's expandable let's take this mission so we can get rid of him for some fucking reason i don't know why they want to get rid right. of him right away you mean the right? recycle plot it's always like that. and it was oh, ben foster told him you know like oh we're family we're like a tribe blah 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 well why didn't they show that why didn't they do a couple of missions 
where he's right. actually like with them and hey this is how it's going it's going or right. maybe like a then, stab, like established like uh, chris pine's life is getting better you know exactly. the very first right. mission is, yeah. is kind of like and they could have had it where they went yeah, to a bar you know they're just hanging out drinking playing cards or something You're like talk okay. about old stories like you know, oh yeah. my knee fell off too and, yeah, yeah yeah and that would have made the ending get to it that much better like when ben foster comes out his name is mike so when mike comes out and starts smoking these fools hey where's rusty he's over there and then you have smoking these fools by the campfire at if that beginning would have been more established you'd be like oh damn he just shot his buddies right but no he just smokes them and he just starts shooting everybody starts shooting everybody up and then he gets shot in the side and instead of retreating back to the truck where he was he decides to come up full open and just takes one of the chest i'm like well clearly you were the worst member of the team but it just it was, it was like just... um the final episode of jack ryan where like his weapon of choice to go into this like gun battle oh, jack is... reacher was a little gun yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh yeah the, he just has yeah, a little tiny gun that's no rifle, that's jack no... reacher man but yeah if they would have established a little more reacher. instead of the recycled ones, you know, oh, first mission. Yep. Let's wait. We don't know this guy. Let's just go ahead and toss him to the wolves. Right. Typical. Oh, you think you're doing good, but it turns out you're not doing good. You're killing the good guys. You're not killing the bad guys. Yeah, no, it was all bad. It was all, I mean, over and over again. Yeah. It's super. Generic. I mean, I kind of like movies like that where they, you know, uh, how's this guy going to get back? How's he going to get back to save his family and whatever. But this one was like, oh man, it, it was, we didn't. The good thing it was uh, released to streaming. But don't you think Johnny had a good point earlier? If it was Nicolas Cage, you would have been more impressed. I would have loved it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's so weird, right? <laughs> you just have to replace Chris Pine with somebody else. I'm like, you know what? This is much better. I think it's it's also I think it's because of him too. I'm like, oh, you just you just seem boring, like to watch. Like, you know, if you would have put Liam exciting. Hemsworth in that spot, I oh, hated it. hated it. No, wait, Liam. Liam, yeah, Liam's the not Thor Chris. one. Okay, I was gonna say because you put Thor. Chris in that spot. Yeah. Oh, it's a much extraction part two. Oh, no, extraction <laughs> yes. was great, and they're making a part two. They are. Making I know, but I don't. I don't know. He survived. Damn it! Shut your mouth. There's a lot of holes that they got to fill no. up in his body. I know, that like water a, fell a lot of plot holes in his body. <laughs> 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 can you? Ex- I must have missed this, but can you explain the old guy again that he got that he ended up who fixed his knee up? Who was that guy again? I don't so know. when he when he killed the marine, who um, I thought was very good, by the way, as a little tiny character part, very yeah, emotional, yeah. very good. Right, uh, that wasn't a bad scene. He was like, I mean, I didn't know we were killing our own or whatever. Yeah, yeah. but uh, he said, you know, go to the call this number or go to this place, and this guy will help you out or something like that. But who was it, yeah. that guy? But who was that guy though? Because no, he just, just nobody. He was a guy who uh, helped helps him out, helped helps soldiers him. out in. Yeah special forces type people out uh, uh, in previous he's, conflicts yeah, he's like the homeless like guy safe house dogs around the neighborhood yeah he's he's the safe house yeah 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 um and he can't okay, cook well. and he can't take a bullet to the head no what a he doesn't make a very no. good steak either he went yeah. right down big <laughs> that's right i know it was probably a 22 also you would have kept standing huh if you got probably shot was a 22 <laughs> um all right well, like, get up did, did you uh, guys pay oh, attention to the scientist um when he was talking about the virus cure the or whatever COVID and all that yeah h1n1 H1 H1 yeah, yeah. That's i was like ooh, a, interesting Call yeah that. i was like that's convenient but yeah. isn't h1n1 isn't that the swine flu bird flu bird flu yeah so is so is covid it's a form isn't yeah. it just h1n1 H1 H1 H1. H1. right a bunch of fake news whatever. anyways I, I was like hey, there's already Russians. a cure again mega came up with that shit that's no? true the, the you're talking about the the blue silver stuff you drank or <laughs> <laughs> oh. I oh, wait think, was, wait his was his cure was ch clorox yeah i think his <laughs> i think the, yeah whatever ah well let's review it hugh give it to me give it to me straight i'll go with a one and a half. Oh wow oh, that's pretty, Ooh, pretty low. low that's pretty low oh. what was your moonfall one one and one, so this is a one. this is a half point better. Half better than Moonfall. Wow. Yeah, wow. you know, uh, Chris's eyes are dreamy, so you know, I just have to. I have to keep half a point. I got you. All right, Carlos. The two and a half. Two and a half on the board, Johnny. I'm gonna go with the mm-hmm. three. A three, just as good as Death on the Nile for you, huh? Jeez. Just just for the veteran aspect of it. If you, if he was an Asian veteran, I'd give it uh-huh. a four. So what if? 
Mm. What if it was? What if it was a, like the Canadian Army? It was what? based in Canada. What? Not what would American the store veteran. be? A boot? That'd hey. be a boot. The maple <laughs> syrup. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> we have a cure for maple we got, syrup. We got our moose on the loose. <laughs> we got a cure for diabetes. <laughs> All damn dead sugar in them trees. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I give it a five. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. It's called uh, Strange Brew. Um, or two. So you give it a three. You got a two and a half, a one and a half. I give it a two and a half. It's, it's, it's right there. It's, it's just too recycled. It was just, you, you knew everything that was coming. Everything coming. Like, it's just the same old, same old. Um, yeah, because like even Carl when said, he told his wife, oh, it's just a bodyguard mission, just a quick... I mean, you yeah, know you're not coming back. It's always that. Yeah, yeah, it's always that, right? It's always, it's just a quick job. I'll yeah, be right back, Babysit honey. somebody, I'll be right back. And his wife yells out, no, you're going to be framed for this shit. You're new to the team. <laughs> I've seen it a hundred times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I saw a movie about this just last week. On Lifetime. On Hulu. Yeah. And then... Uh, and then the, the, and then when Kiefer says son, you know, calls him son, I'm like, dude, oh, that's dude, such you're a just, cliche too. And and you're just not, you just don't come across with and that gra- gravity, you know, no, that gravitas. Kiefer came way, way too much off like white supremacist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Way too much. And I was like, but they all oh, did. It was like a camp of like shaved head, bearded. No, dude. no, I get it. But it's almost like, was Chris Pine's character that dumb? He couldn't be like, you know what? These are pretty bad dudes. But he was that matter. broke. I it got didn't, 50 grand. Didn't matter how how dumb he was. 50 that G's is, is a lot of money. 50 G's. But a lot. even I'm the, you, even yeah. his buddy Mike said he could have made more money in the private sector. Oh, but I need a quick buck right now, so let me do oh, a mission well, with you. Whatever. It, it was movie. it was that Edward Norton movie that white supremacist movie where everybody American looked history at, X. Yeah, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. All right, I'll give look. two. The more we talk about it, losing points, stop talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually in the same point because now I'm thinking about like the shootout after the. Uh, after they leave the the lab, I'm like yeah, wow, yeah, the whole force showed up to that uh-huh. <laughs> right. to, the shootout, to, to a yeah, to yeah. a burglary call. Huh? I thought that was dumb too. Fuck yeah. two and a half. Yeah, two and a half now. <laughs> Let's it stop talking lot. about it before yeah. it goes down. It's gonna and, go down. And, and, and how like was he fucking Bitcoin over here? And, and how was he kicking <laughs> everybody's ass on that bad knee? Oh, These strong ass dudes that like multiple dudes. You know, if if he would have started injecting shit into his knee into his like veins or whatever i would have believed it some more because that's what he got kicked out for yeah if, if i would have seen him inject some like steroids and stuff what like if, that and then, 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 they fight, decided, then i'd be uh, then i'd be more believable but what if the but then they decided he, to smoke the driver take her oh, out yeah 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 why are you yeah, taking yeah, her yeah, out yeah. they haven't captured her yet take out the two guys trying to take her but no you kill her and then you kill the other two dudes Dumb. Would you no, this, give it a the, better? That, that's a uh, basic training one on one. Like we oh, did that the first week. Yeah, we <laughs> just just kill the chick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just kill the chick. <laughs> if you get caught, if, if down you've ever slept too. with her, if she's ever touched any part of you, kill her because oh, she like, will talk. Wait, which 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 training was this? And that, this, this can we still man, sign man up? training? You don't man training this, man one hundred and one. <laughs> um, so the movie would you give it a better score if when he got his leg fixed by the old dude? We had a quick three minute montage of him training in the forest and working out and making this leg stronger. <laughs> then you'd have been like, Yeah, I believe it. Now I believe it. That'd have made it worse because you spent enough money. I don't have enough money, but enough time to give me background on his knee getting fixed, but not background on the team and all this other stuff. You don't choose one. You only got so much money. But so, his, okay, um, <laughs> yeah, we need to stop talking about it because I'm going to bring up another stupid point. He showed oh, up yeah. at the guy's house and I knew he was home. I knew Mike was home when he pulled up to his house and he oh, looked yeah. in the window. Yeah. And then when he's following him in the motor on the motorcycle the next day, and then he tackles him. What are you doing in my house? I'm like, if you saw him, you would have seen who it was outside your house. You would have known who it was. It was Chris Pine, man. What do you mean? But he took off his helmet, and then he goes, oh, he knew it was him. Ah, oh, man. Yes. Yeah, just move on, please. Now, right, you well, know, there you go. My score will not get any lower. The it's movie 2.5 got... <laughs> plus a G. But, oh, plus a G. Wow. 2.5. Yes. Po- better, than G, better than the game. Better than the game. You know what? It is better than the game. That's the sad part. No, um, it's not. Um, so we get. It's so not. you give it a one point five. Johnny goes two point. I go two point five. And I think Carlos gave it a two point five. It went down. It went as down. we were talking. Oh, that's right. His is a two. Yeah, it deserves a two, but can't yeah. keep going. All right. Contractor not available on any streaming service unless you want to rent it on Amazon Prime. There you go. Yeah. I, when I first started, I thought it was an Amazon Prime 
you know, for free if you have Amazon Prime. It said right there, Amazon Original, but then it turns out you have to rent it to watch it. Yeah, it's a turd. Turd movie. Yeah, you're right. Though. Now, was that an it. MGM movie? Because, you know, Amazon bought MGM. I don't Paramount and yeah. STX films. That's right. Oh, STX. Okay. That's right. STX films. Right. And when when I saw the STX, I was like, this might be a good movie because they make decent movies. And I was wrong. All right. There you go. Contractor <laughs> starring Chris Pine, Kiefer Sutherland, Ben Foster. I think that's all the big three names. You can get it on Redbox, Amazon Prime voodoo wherever you can rent movies and do not rent it save your money we'll be right back after this on nurse talking the podcast well hello there all you weaves and casuals alike magically average here to introduce you to bakken company an anime podcast that is both entertaining and informative i use the term informative loosely but i digress we at bakken company produce three unique shows discussing different anime both new and old our flagship bakken co dives deep into a single show or movie from the endless library of anime. Bakabytes gives listeners a sneak peek into the current season's anime, with many spoilers included, that is. And Bak and You is a one-on-one discussion with a special guest talking about their most cherished anime of all time. So, come join in on the fun as we laugh and yell, mostly yell, about anime. Bak and Company, for weebs and casuals alike. Welcome to Nerds Talking the Podcast, here with Johnny, Hugh, Carlos, and I'm Lafayette. Hey, Gilbert Gottfried passed away at the age of 67. Um, another comedian. He had cancer. Um, hopefully he had Affleck. So a yeah. really, a really <laughs> uh, a really rare form, right? Is that what I read? Something it was very rare that I read something I didn't read. What kind of cancer was it? Uh, the one that kills you. Um, uh, yeah, terminal I, uh, or terminal. <laughs> terminal cancer. Here yeah. we go again. It's just, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, I was kind of surprised when I saw that though that he passed away. Um, how was I like Gilbert? And he was 67. I mean, that's that's young, you know, he's always looked 67, but this is true. Oh, Gilbert Godfrey, he was funny. He was when, you funny guy. See, when you see imagery of him more recently, you, you're then you're like, yeah, he doesn't look too good. Like he yeah, looked like his, yeah, his looked, clothes were too sick. big, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, kind of like a Norm Macdonald. He looked pretty bad. Yeah, you know? he looked pretty bad. But yeah, a lot of comedians lately: Norm Macdonald, Bob Saget, Gilbert Godfrey. Anybody else recently? Um, Louis Anderson. Louis Anderson. Yeah, 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 yeah. George Lopez. No, that was just his career. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> 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 yeah, he's but sucks. um. He sucks. He's not a funny comedian, but he tries, oh. I guess. Um, but yeah, there you go. It's a couple of comedians. Uh, man, crazy. 2022, you know, we get them, you know, the celebrity deaths pop up here and there. And then uh, then they, the ones that don't die, they make sex tapes. I like that little. <laughs> and uh, now that's not a very good about... segue, but shut up. Shut up. Gilbert's dead. Let's talk about horrible thought, segues. This one yeah, right let's talk I thought we were going to talk, talk about I was going to talk about his work in Aladdin. Oh, <laughs> that's a good, yeah, good one. That's his best role. Really. No, A Million Ways to Die in the West. He Didn't only had like a, a one minute cameo, okay. but he was hilarious. That's funny. The game God was better it. than that segue. Uh, well, I mean, the segue was two seconds. I mean, the game is two hours of <laughs> torture stop um, it stop it <laughs> but um, <laughs> now if you would have said if that sex tape was leading to billy the kid maybe uh, that would have been a true. good segue. that would have been uh yeah. unintentional that was yeah. unnecessary yeah, yeah it's unnecessary, unnecessary. <laughs> let's let's attack you yeah. let's attack you this is fun <laughs> that's not, that's not, yeah don't see it's not all sex tapes are carlos's favorite okay what what is the top? What do you want to talk? Carlos had this topic. I don't know what what's it about. Go ahead, fill me in. What's the deal here? Something Sex about tapes and how it affects the people that were in them. Like oh, okay, okay. Well, I mean, I just finished, if I just I'm finished in watching them, Pam and it, Tommy, oh, it just boosts my self esteem. Yeah, <laughs> is that what you mean? Or do you uh, mean the like Pam the celebrity? Show, sex yeah, the Pam and Tommy show on Hulu is actually a really good show. Um, yeah, I heard it was. I heard it was very good. It's, it's messed up, man. It, well, yeah, all kind of ways to Sunday. And the reason I wanted to talk about it was because, I mean, when I saw the Pam and uh, Tommy tape it was back in the 90s, I didn't think really much of it except there they are having sex. And I saw right. it maybe once. And that was it. It never really made me think, 
how it affected them and it affected Pam more than Tommy, obviously. But I didn't realize how bad it affected her career, basically ruined her career. Where really? you have others, yeah, according to the, the TV show, where you have other sex tapes like Paris's sex tape, where it kind of boosted her career. Now everybody knew who she was. I had no idea who Paris Hilton was until I saw the sex tape. And then after, because I even didn't even know about the sex tape until I was listening to Howard Stern and Howard Stern mentioned the sex tape. And I said, I need to see this. And I saw it. And then I was like, now, then she's everywhere. Now she's got a show called The Simple Life with Nicole didn't uh, that, Richie. Didn't the sex tape come out after the shows? It was mm -mm. not like Kim Kardashian, which kind of made her famous. I thought well, Kim Paris Kardashian totally afterwards. made her famous. What'd you say? I thought, I thought uh, Hilton's came out after the fact, leaked by the boyfriend for revenge or some shit. Um, yeah, uh, Solomon or whatever his name. Yeah, is. yeah he sold it yeah. to Vivid or something like that. And it was a horrible one. It was all in green screen, not green screen. Yeah, no, it was that. night vision. Night yeah. vision. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Pamela's was horrible. I remember Carlos got it. We watched it, and I was like, "Oh, look, hour and a half and fifteen minutes of them actually doing anything, and it's just them more or less on vacation." Yep. That's it. And I'm like, oh, they're on vacation. This is boring. <laughs> like, like, is it better than the game? No, no. But if if Tommy's dick turned around and said, "I'm Billy the Kid," I'd be like, "You son of a bitch! You still alive, Billy?" But Johnny, take that to the bank, take it, cash it in, and do what you want with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, like well, Old Henry Kim's is tape. a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> you are terrible at this. Uh, well, Kim's tape. I didn't know who she was either until the nope. Kim Kardashian tape came no, out. Me neither. And it was, I knew who Ray J was. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. Ray J's having yeah. sex with this person. I don't know who this mm -hmm. person is. I, she's goddamn hot in that tape. And then all of a sudden, Ryan Seacrest decides to ex exploit the Kardashians because he's the executive producer of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Yeah. So well, that's don't what tell made him them that. famous. He, he what made them, that, that show what made the other Kardashians before. famous was No Kim. question. No question. They no question. owe her all their fortune because she decided to have sex while she was high on tape with Ray J on, but unlike Pam, she high? She didn't seem ruined high. her career. It totally ruined her career. But I'm it, guessing uh, if that tape would have come out in the two thousands, it may not have, it may have boosted her career. So let me ask you a question. You're saying it ruined her career. I don't, I don't think of Pam Anderson who had a stellar acting career that was rising. And then this just killed it. I mean, she was known for certain things. As far as I know, she wasn't somebody you looked at and said, yeah, she's a really class, you know, a list, a list actress. You know, she what? was, she was, uh, okay, let me, you know, but let you me watch the this, show. Do you look at her that way? Because she did Playboy because she was known no. as the Playboy person. No, but it, no, no. But I just I don't look at her in the same vein because she hasn't given me any kind of body of work that suggests she's in the same class is some of the you know really great actresses of our time i mean when you're on baywatch you're a bad actress that's what i'm saying and i mean it's not for that, your looks and i'm well, not going to yeah. suggest that baywatch is you is a bad Yasmin show bleeds name out of your mouth <laughs> no i mean i can say baywatch wrong. is a bad show but i'm I mean, just who, saying it's not who a, was your favorite baywatch i don't i hardly I'm ever watched say it. it was yasmin oh yasmin was so like hmm. it wasn't pamela for me it was either yasmin or carmen but when I when I, I agree, when I Ooh, first, Nicole, Eggert. Nicole Eggert. Oh yeah. When I, I but when I first saw Pamela, I was like starstruck. I was like, "Whoa, what the oh, hell?" Oh, she had the look. She had the look. I mean, the face, the body. I was like, "That's ridiculous." Um, yeah. And then you know when I heard the sex tape was coming out, I was like, "Okay, well, let's I've look at that." To, yeah, let's check this out. I mean, as far as her movie career or or career in general, like. What career? It, it, it couldn't have gone anywhere. I mean, like Barb Wire. Did you guys see that? No, if you watch, just, I did. Yes. If you watch yeah. Pam and Tommy, you'll get you get the idea that she had delusions of grandeur, that she was a much better actress than she thought she was. Like she she thought she well, was true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. equal but, to the Charlize Theron's and everybody else. No, and she kept getting no, no roles. And then when she got uh, Barb Wire, she thought it was a great movie and she thought it was going to make her a breakout star and it tanked and everybody thought it was a horrible comedy, basically. And then she kind of realized she thought Tommy was bad for her career. She thinks the, the, the sex tape ruined her career. 
she thought everything else. But in reality, she kept going through these auditions and they're just like, you're just a playmate, basically, like that wants to act, but you can't. That's you kind know? of my that's my point. It's but Carlos not- has a but Carlos has a point. Any any celebrity sex tape, any of them, it always favors the male. Ray J's career was much better. He's still till this day. He's the guy that made Kim Kardashian. Didn't hurt t- uh, Tommy one bit. Not not one bit. No, you know? because he's a rock star. Exactly. He's known for like sex, drugs and rock and roll. Oh, you made a this, sex right. tape. Yeah. Let me. I mean, again, this may be and in the show. Pam Anderson's first sex tape. That's what I'm saying. She also did then does another one with Brett Michaels. Yes. Brett Michaels, yeah. So that was before I'm sorry, Tommy. but it. That was before so, Tommy. It, yeah. So if this is so bad, why? I, I, I'm telling you right now that if I were like some level of A-list celebrity and and I'm with somebody and they say, hey, let's pull the camera out. No, 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 no. Because that shit can potentially get out. That's the first thing I'm thinking about. No, we're going to have fun, but that's not that's not in play. I'm not going to like oh, have to worry. I'm three cameras. I'm doing like above shot. I'm doing underneath. I'm doing well, camera live. file. I'm doing all yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you move the drone chat. a little too far from yeah, chat. Gonna, my hair. Sure we got filters but i'm just like, saying you know if you're it's in the shot if you're that worried about it you know i mean i, you know, I but, get but you have to see you have to watch the show because they didn't put it out the tape got stolen. i know it did okay. i know i know so it was never meant to be in public right. um I mean, I mean i do feel bad for the ones who don't uh, like ray j in out. a sense like he put it out basically for revenge he got dumped by her yeah you know um and he and, and he but it, basically gave her billions made of her, dollars made her yeah shit. made not just her every Backfired sibling on it's what well every that's what sibling is yeah. filthy rich because yeah. of Ray it, J. it's and i don't think it hurt pam either because if you know the story then you're then you know that she didn't want this out so i would have sympathy for her i just don't think it ruined a career that wasn't really a career i mean let's be honest though, that's probably the 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 first, well, it kind of was the first big sex celebrity sex tape. Kim Kardashian yeah. is probably the most famous one. Yeah, but but, but, but Pamela's, uh, I mean, like when it came out, it was all over the news. Like, oh man, it was every big day time news. Yeah, because even when Kim Kardashian, yeah, when Kim Kardashian came out, I was like, who is this? Like, I know yeah. Ray J, like, Carlos, I know Ray J, but who's who's right. this? And then all of a sudden, she has a TV show on E, and you're like, wait a second. I know you from behind. <laughs> <laughs> but then you have like all these other sex tape, like Vern Troyer try to put one out. I obviously try to right. put it out on purpose. And, it, and the rest it is China. China uh, had mean, one. China mean, did. Oh, yeah. Vern Troyer. China. Rob Lowe had one back in the day. Rob but Lowe. That got leaked. That wasn't something he yeah, put his out. Yeah, on purpose, though. And then what's his name did one on, on purpose? Screech. Yeah. Diamond he did, Dallas. He whatever. did a yes. porno, didn't he? So no, he tried. No, he tried to do a sex tape mm, so mm, he could mm. save his house or something stupid mm, like that. Mm. Oh, Tila Tequila. She's not well known, but she has. She's absolutely gone down that road. Like I don't know the hell she with ever it. Has, to be honest nope, with you, she has. Oh, she, ha- she has. I've she, seen it. Oh, you've seen yeah, it. Oh, you've seen. You it. know what yeah, she does I'm now? She is a hardcore christian conservative like hard. oh yeah that's right you're she right does, she is. she's 100 percent against her former life like what a waste of time stupid celebrity stupid all that all it's crazy to see her now it is absolutely wacky yeah you're right i did i did i'm see googling that. I did that see shit. That. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be so disappointed by the way it's funny like, don't do it johnny don't do it you're gonna ruin your vh1 dreams it's funny though because she absolutely made tapes purposely you know like oh, of like course because she tried to be a celebrity so bad so yeah. bad it's sad when people want to be celebrities so bad who yeah, else I forgot is, uh, that Tanya Harding had a stupid sex tape. She That's did too. Right. She did too, but that went nowhere yeah. for her. Kind of sad. Yeah. <laughs> like it did nothing for her and nobody cared. Tried to be a boxer. Tried to be- <laughs> Yeah. 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 Good old celebrity sex tapes. Supposedly Ray J says he has more. Like and what's he holding on to him for? No, he said he's in he's he claims he's gonna put him out soon. Uh, I would suggest it sooner or later than later because he's going to get monu- monumentally sued now. If oh he puts yeah, exactly. No, that's monumentally I mean. sued. Don't. No, do I think it, I think uh, Kim's got enough money where she could just kill him. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Have him killed? Yeah. Okay. No one, no one realizes it. <laughs> that's right. That's right. 
yeah, uh, yeah. No, it's uh, yeah, yeah. it's a wild, wild, uh, it's a wild thing. But it's 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 nowadays. It's not like it was when they came out in the '90s. Now it's like, did you hear about that? Yeah, and I don't know. People, I don't. Do you think it would ruin someone's career these days? I don't think it would. Depends on how they put it out, right? If it's stolen, if it's yeah. I mean, uh, no one's gonna uh, say. It, I it's like, it like, like with the screech one. It's is it stolen? It, a, right. But with Screech, oh, I mean, yeah. he's a celebrity who wants, he needs money. That's it. Yeah. yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What I'm but saying, with, what if with the ones that are like stolen or? Uh, yeah. But that's what I'm saying. Is it in hotels? Is it I mean, stolen? If Lady or Gaga that, all of a sudden had one out that looked like it was, you know, it was taken off her cloud, or whatever, whatever it is, right? I don't think it would ruin wouldn't her believe. career. No, no I, I don't think, it would I don't think so either. One bit. I mean, like, I'd feel bit. bad for her because, you know, I feel yeah. bad for any female who gets exploited like that against their will. But will it ruin Lady Gaga's career? Hell no. no. That's what I'm saying. These days, it, I don't feel, think it's like it's not the same. It's, and if it comes out as if it was stolen or somehow hacked into a computer, people be like, oh, you know, that was private property. That's how people look at I it. I mean, now. I think it affects some people. Well, like Vanessa Hudgens, she didn't have a sex tape, but she had nudes leaked. That's correct. Yeah, yeah. And That's correct. I, I think it affected her. Uh, yeah. I'd agree with you, actually, Johnny. I think it did. But I mean, it did. I think she was upset she about it. She still does movies, yeah, but, yeah. but it's. I think she had a different trajectory before the nudes came out. You're talking about um, somebody like hacked a ton of celebrities and dumped them all on the internet. I think it was her boyfriend that... Uh, yes. Her, it was that exposed that one or it her was, ex-boyfriend I know, I, I know which one yeah. you're talking about too yeah 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 there's a I've ton of those. celebrities like Anne hathaway all that or they got mm-hmm. dumped on the internet all these yeah dudes and, they just yeah. like hacked their phones basically mm-hmm. they hacked their phones exactly hacked all here's an Anne hathaway nude look at you now you're in the now you're back in the game oh keep back the camera in the up okay keep the camera up i don't want to see that shit. <laughs> what's better now the game or Anne hathaway's leaked photos and Hathaway. Hathaway. Oh, that wasn't a real question. <laughs> nah, no, it wasn't. <laughs> I've never seen it. Uh, you never seen the game? You should it. Yeah. Okay. Well. <laughs> but I, wait, I want to go back to the of all the people we just named in terms of those of sex tapes. Nobody that we've named do I think it affected their career. Not Pam. Not in a bad way. Not Rob. That's what I mean. Not in a bad way. Not Rob Lowe. Those are the two people I think of right away that it might have affected their mm, careers. You know. Rob, no, Rob Lowe's no. I mean, that was a shitty one. Um, Pamela, it kind of she kind of turned it around. She like accepted it, and it turned into a joke, and yada 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 yada. But you're right. right. There's not one out there that you can name that. Now that celebrities look like is ruined, careers ruined because of right. So nobody, nobody. So I mean, but the thing is, while you're watching it, you even think of that. You even think of like. The consequences that oh, I might the have whole on time. someone. Yeah, there no, you didn't. Yeah. Shut your mouth. <laughs> no, that, I was so you concerned. Know, that, well, that's well, that's just it. When I was when I saw it, I was in my twenties, or I think it was in my twenties. But anyway, yeah, I didn't think about it either. I was just like, oh, it's just sex sex tape. But I didn't think of anything of it. You know, I saw it one time, and I was it. It's not like I had it on loop on or on re- on repeat. I didn't think about how it might affect someone. You know, because it did affect her personally, whether it was her career or her non-existent career. Because like Lafayette said, she did have thoughts of grandeur. She thought she was better than, you know, Baywatch, you know. Right. She thought, I mean, she even got turned down for uh, Austin Powers, the first movie. And Chicago. Remember? She thought she was going to be in Chicago. It wasn't Chicago. It was. um, Oh, you're right. It was was L.A. Confidential. L.A. Confidential. Like, there's no way you're going to be in L.A. Confidential. None. Unless but it's no a chance. film. But she tried out for one of the Austin Powers, right? Wasn't it the she one? With... For the first one. With first Elizabeth one. With Hurley. First one. Yeah. yeah, with Elizabeth Hurley. Yeah. So. Yeah. And she got turned down for that. I'm not saying That's she was right. a great actress, yeah. but it definitely affected her personally, probably psychologically, because she thought, you know, it was ruining everything in her life. Tommy was kind of taking it in stride, but Tommy was still upset about it, but just wasn't his career just wasn't as hurt as hers like johnny said or whoever said sex drugs and rock and roll that's his lifestyle right right well so plus I'm remember at say, that time Monty cruz whole thing was on decline and he well, did yeah, not yeah, care yeah. he was so yeah, rich yeah. he was like whatever like people saw my ding who cares it's i could what? say dick or penis but ding sounds better so maybe a dong but not a ding yeah like a ding a ling <laughs> oh, cock man. what do you I want so, what i do you sort want? of 
I sort of do understand oh, Carlos's I forgot, point. Uh, Hulk Hogan had a sex tape. He did. That wasn't yeah, really a did. sex tape, though. That was Bubba the Love Sponge decided to record him and his wife. And his wife. Right. And then put it out. I'm like, what is the purpose of that? Oh, what was the then, purpose of that? Oh, it was a purpose for them to sue Gawker for millions and be rich. That's what came out of it. Hulk Hogan won. Million. He won, yeah. He got $100 million out of it. Shut no, down Gawker. Wait, wait. He sued for $100 million. They gave uh-huh. him 115 Nice. See that? <laughs> That's what, that, all you gotta do is pray, brother. All you gotta do is pray. I do. I do get your point, Carlos. I do, though. You know that she may have thought she had something going on, right. whether I think it or anyone else thinks it. She may have. So I get well, that. I get understand that. Understand how popular she was. She was really popular, like stupid popular. So in her mind, Absolutely. she thought. She was going to be in LA Confer. Who she thought wasn't it? Uh, Kim What's Basinger? Basinger, right? Oh, yeah. Not she chance. She's gonna get the role over Kim Basinger. Yeah. And Russell yeah. Crowe, great. And Guy and Pierce over Russell Crowe. Yeah, and Guy and Pierce. Guy Pierce. Yeah. yeah, great movie. Yeah, I tell you what though, the chick that plays Pamela in that show is spot on. Oh yeah, looks like her. Oh, yeah. Sounds like her. Yeah. I forgot her name. She played Cinderella in the Disney movie. She's a really oh, good. Oh, is that, is that her? Oh, okay. Yeah. Damn, I can't forget. Remember her name now. Um, they don't they don't attempt to like recreate part of the scene on the boat though, right? They do. They do. No, they, they do. do. And you see you see Tommy's yeah. ding. Lily James. Lily James. Lily James. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Hey Johnny, you see Tommy's ding. Let's give it a hit you know. <laughs> Tommy's and it well, talks too. It talks. Uh, the guy who is Tommy. playing Tommy he does, have a, yeah. he does have a talking penis. Sebastian yeah. Stan. Mm-hmm. The guy playing Tommy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. The uh the winter soldier. Um, yeah. all right. Well, there you go. Might as well we give him an uh, a vibranium. Ding, whatever you call it. You also do you think this, uh, yeah. Kendra Wilkinson's sex tape? Oh, affected remember her? that? Remember Who's that? Kendra yeah. Wilkerson. She exactly. had. She the girl has next one. Door. Yeah. The girls next she door. She has one. Remember the this girls was next this door. was pre uh, pre boob job too. Pre, What's pre the, this, but this isn't Hank Basquet, right? The Hugh Hefner right? show. Yeah. Not yeah. her husband, Hank Basquet. It's before no, that. No, this was before before she she became a playmate. I never heard of that. It. The thing with those all three of those chicks is when it, by the time that came out, they were already flamed out. So, like whatever, they made their she, money off. Well, of what that career show. did she have though? She's a Playboy. She didn't have she one. Was cute. Exactly. It was a TV so, show. She didn't have, have career. one. Career was that TV show that was that's it. Yeah. You know she has a new show. She has a real estate show. <laughs> yeah. I saw really. A, I saw. Yes. A preview for that. Wait. So she's yeah. a real estate agent, or she's like a host yeah. of the show? Oh, no, okay. real estate agent. Yeah. So well, trying to. Like a, a reboot of her, but it's, it's just not going to work. She's playing Dingy Kendra. I'm a new real estate agent. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, did you yeah. watch it? No, but I I did shoot with her once, and mm-hmm. every other word out of her mouth was an um, wow. Every other word was was like fuck, fuck. It's like, wow, you're a, you're a, you'd be someone I'd bring home. I mean, she wasn't the brightest. None of them. No. Were. No. Um. Well, there you go. Yeah. Well, you got uh, a little sex tape talk. Gilbert Godfrey died. You heard about Tam and pa- Pam on Hulu. Pam Johnny, and what, what's your Johnny? Did you look up uh, Tila to see what she, whether she looks the same? It's tough to say because mm, yes, the picture of her now didn't look like. Oh, her. it's her. Believe me, it's her. I'll tell you, she's disappointing. I'm like, right? not all. She threw Asians on forty pounds. The praise same. Jesus and. Uh, Hey, it's abortion. Okay, let's play this game oh, real quick. Her? It's called oh Only One. <laughs> only One. Here we go. Here we go. You guys have to go through this. It's called Only One. Now, you can only have one social media app on your phone for the rest of your life. You cannot use any others. Which one would it be? Johnny, go. Facebook. Facebook. Good choice. Why? Uh, I think it's the one I use the most. Keeps track of all the birthdays. And um, and they, they have news now. They have news. And then there was another thing. I got a email the other day saying that i am now the legacy person for my wife so she like filled out something and basically what it is is like it's like a facebook will okay. if she dies oh they have that yeah yeah she can, yeah I, I, you can take so over weird. her that's I could take right. over her social media That's and then awesome, dude. That's just awesome. talk shit about her all yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, How do you I mean, do I that? I wouldn't do that if she's dead. I can take care of it for you. How do you okay. do that, though? <laughs> How do you Johnny, do that? John, no, One let's, not, let's not go deep into Facebook right now. We're just playing the game, playing the all game. Right. Carlos, you One asked social me why. media. Not you. You're good, Johnny. You want a point. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> One social media app only for the rest of your life. Which one is it? 
Instagram. Instagram and why? Oh, just so I can continue posting my art. I mean, that's how I got a couple of art commission jobs is through Instagram. So I'll continue using Instagram. Yeah. I use it more than Facebook. Okay, Hugh, only one social media app, then why? Facebook. For what reason? Well, just because that's where everything it is that I have is there, and that's where the family members that are interested in updates, that's where they go. And that's there's so true. much on there now. There's that's a marketplace. Yeah. They have yeah, yeah, news yeah. now. It that's where I, I learned. You have misinformation. The, uh, Oh, their news has been checked out by the meta verse. That's okay? right. And that's where I learned right. that mm-hmm. there is a war in India versus dogs and monkeys. Like a that dog killed a monkey. Mm-hmm. And now monkeys are cl- grabbing the dog, climbing buildings and throwing them off. The Dropping them off. I on Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. I'm not only on Facebook. Is that I've, true? I've only, I've only seen that on Facebook. I is that true? Yeah, I didn't. That's verify Russian the, propaganda the trying to make you think Ukraine is a bad guy. Mo- Shut up. Mo- <laughs> monkeys are climbing trees and throwing dogs. dogs as as revenge for, like for, for dogs killing a monkey. I gotta look now, this like, up. Why is, are, like, why is that funny? I would pro- <laughs> I, you're I would a cat probably, person. That's you why. Know, I'd probably go with Instagram. Holy Jesus. But this Instagram. is a war that was back in 2021, though. Ah, it's an old war. Rampaging thing. monkeys kill 250 dogs <laughs> in revenge. Um, <laughs> fuckers, get up here. Fuckers. Instagram, because you can update people on your status and all that as well. So, oh. But Facebook is the best, to be honest, because your Johnny's right. It gives you every, You want to post your art on there, promote it, go for it. You want to keep you your friends updated. Something, you want to sell you want something. To buy something. Yeah. You want news. That's it is hilarious. True. Facebook is the one, and that's what Facebook tries to be, though. They try to be the one-stop shop. I'm gonna miss Twitter, though. God damn it! All right, next we one. Is... I don't know if Twitter's a good choice for you, man. No, oh, I love Twitter. Because if you get booted okay. again, then that's you don't it. have again, any. I got no more media. social media. My social media. You have to go to Truth. Letters. What's it called? Is the Truth. Oh, Truth. Yeah, it's called Truth. It's Truth mm. Social. Okay, truth here social. we go. This is a little tougher one. You're going to pick one cable channel ever to watch you don't get any more just one channel which channel do, what you do you keep what do you classify as a cable channel anything on cable like tnt tbs cnn cable channel oh that's not hard okay well, does that you, include eight, like hbo and those kinds if you pick hbo mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you could pick. It has to be the Spanish HBO. It just Spanish that's all you get one. stuck with. <laughs> Nothing else. So Hugh, you're up first. Uh, one HBO. cable channel for the rest of your life. Only HBO. That's it, huh? All right. No. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm I'm trying to think. We don't have cable. We have streams. So you know. All right. So HBO. Okay, Carlos. Sure. You get one channel only for the rest of your life. ESPN. Wow, ESPN. That's a okay, interesting yeah. choice. Johnny, one cable channel, rest of your life. What do you I picking? almost chose ESPN because of their content, but what I don't like about ESPN is like on the guide, you'll it'll say, All right, it's a uh, old hardwood classics, you know, 1990 yeah. Lakers or something yep. like that. And then, it's and then you, you click on, yeah, and it's cornhole. So I don't trust ESPN. I'm going to go with uh, TNT. Oh, uh, good pull because you also get hockey and you get basketball. Yeah. And then really the occasional movies. Marvel movie. I yeah. mean, I'm going to go TNT. You Wait, what channel movies. is it that shows the same movie like back to back over and over and over? Usually TNT, TBS do that. TNT. Same right. same network, basically. Right, then I want TNT. Fuck yes, being on. Oh, and you also get <laughs> AEW. Oh, no, you don't get AEW wrestling. That's on TBS now. Oh, there you go. T- Wait, so you want TNT? Wait, don't you now? get Raw? That's on USA Network. Oh, do I want you T- <laughs> He's like, do I want wrestling? Or not? <laughs> no, I'll take TNT. I'm with Johnny. We're All gonna right, go watch TNT, TNT together. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll take uh I'll take Fox, not news, but your regular Fox channel. Yeah, you but, know, your local Fox channel. But is that that's why I said what do you classify as cable? Because like ABC, NBC, CBS, yeah, and Fox, you can keep you can pick up. Oh, without cable without or is that really a cable channel well i mean with fox i mean you're getting the family guys the simpsons well, i get uh, the news too i get sports yeah but is it a cable channel it's part of my cable package you can get it uh, without cable though no remember you don't have this is this no antennas allowed in this scenario okay yeah mm-hmm. antennas are all gone it's yeah all digital, not allowed. in this scenario you can only go digital what's your channel so Set mine up. will be the local fox channel 
Yeah. I'm stuck with TNT. You got TNT too, you bums. One guy picked HBO and he could just pick that as a streaming. Because the next one is what streaming service would you pick? When you get one, Johnny, go. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. You only get one streaming choice. I'm going to go with Netflix. Netflix for the because win. Of, oh, yeah. I'm thinking because of the variety. Stranger it's got Coco Melon, and that's all my, my daughter watches uh, right now. Okay. That's yeah. Korean that, soap opera. Coco Melon is raising my daughter. Yeah, it it's got the Korean, Korean dramas. Yeah. It what doesn't else? have The Office anymore, but it's a, something mm. I'm willing. Because I'm, I'm mm. not picking Peacock, so fuck that. Peacock <laughs> has, but Peacock has what Carlos wants. The WWE Network. Uh, Hugh, oh. you're up. Netflix. You, I like Netflix. Netflix. That's Netflix. a nice choice. Okay. Oh, Netflix. Okay. Carlos, which one is yours? Which I was thinking about this earlier and I was mm-hmm. debating between Netflix and mm-hmm. Disney Plus because of all the Marvel oh, stuff. Oh, good call. But there's not oh, enough content on Disney here. Plus. Netflix here. definitely. Uh huh. Is what? Netflix definitely has more choices on Netflix. Ah, yes. Yeah. I go Hulu. Because then I don't have to worry about all the network TV shows. They go on there automatically. Uh, they have sports on there if I need it. Uh, yeah, Hulu's not horrible. Hulu actually gives me a lot of options. It gives me all the shows it's I want to watch. It's not great, though. Like, you can watch Kung Fu Panda 2, but not no, 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 one no, or about three. The movies. What like, I'm saying is, what if I want to watch that? the episode of Family Guy or episode of whatever that I missed? It's always going to be there. Then why did I you watch your pick and on Morty. Fox? It's always be there. Well, I'm not, I'm, I just picked that show as a... I could say Grey's Anatomy, right? It's going to be there. I don't have ABC, so I can watch it there. Or I can watch, again, Rick and Morty. I can watch all that type of stuff. I get a Ooh. lot of choices with Hulu. I, I guess what I get Rick is, and Morty. But I get, see, with Rick I get and Morty. network TV on Hulu, basically. And network TV still has right. some of the best stuff. So. I don't watch enough network TV to give a shit, so I'm sticking with Netflix. You're stupid. Yeah. All right. Because Netflix still gets forged in fire. You, I mean... I'm surprised no one said Peacock just because Why? Office. Then again, you can only watch. So yeah, you much can't the spend office, the rest right? of your life watching the Office. But you can watch Parks and Recs on there. That's a good one. Okay, that let's move on. Uh, only one fast food joint. Rest of your life, Hugh. Go. Oh. Only one. Rest of your life. Wendy's. You're allowed- Wendy's. You're not allowed in any other square place. burger. You try to walk into a Burger King and they just kick you in the nuts. Get out, Hugh. Because you have to go to Wendy's. Okay, Johnny, only one fast food joint rest of your life. I'll give you a copy of the game and tell you to leave. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go cheese. with Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Ooh, good choice. Wow. That's yeah, not a bad choice. You got good. Some I, went, good I went there recently and their variety, because I like In N Out burgers better, but uh-huh, uh-huh. Shake Shack burgers are good. And then they also have like chicken, grilled and cheese. They like they dogs. have more variety yeah. and shakes. Yeah, you just call. remember. Remember, I don't have the same choice you guys have. I would take in and out, but I don't have it here. We're not talking about no, where you live. You live in doesn't have to be geographical. You live in the metal world for this. It's, it's, yeah. Yeah, it doesn't and have I, to be within driving distance. All right, so I take it. I take it back then. In and out. In and out. It's within and driving. Forget it. You're going to win. You're getting square distance. burgers the rest of your life. All right, uh, Carlos. Eat your square burgers and watch HBO. We have In and Out, Shake and Shack, Shake and Shack, Shake and Shack. Uh, HBO and and Netflix. Um, what's yours? Oh man. Um, I like gonna have to be because I'm currently I've been on a kick of Chick Fil A. Oh really? Uh, so no more that. red meat. That's and a no bad food on choice. Sundays. Wow, that's, that's true. I won't be able to eat on Sundays. Son of a bitch. <laughs> that's a horrible. I guess choice. I'm fasting that day. All they really got is chicken sandwiches. I mean, there's no variety. <laughs> But there's oh, chicken yeah. sandwiches and the grilled chicken sandwiches and the <laughs> chicken nuggets. So you're basically you're bubble gum. Bubble gum, yeah. <laughs> it's fucking bubble gum. You could take the leftovers, make soup. It's chicken, chicken soup. soup. <laughs> Come on now. It's plenty of choices. I oh. think you immediately regret And you can't beat that sauce. Oh, yeah. the Chick-fil-A. chicken sauce. Wow. <laughs> can't believe you picked. Yeah. I, I go Panda Express. I like that. Oh, that's I a good choice. I got a, I got a lot of choices there. I can mix it up and I can just go with a full plate of orange. I can walk in, give me some chow mein, throw some some teriyaki on. Oh, Panda's a winner for but me. You can't get a chicken sandwich. 
Uh, if I just get two pieces of bread and some what? chicken, <laughs> they don't have bread there. <laughs> I want chicken sandwich. No, my I own bread. Like chicken wontons. <laughs> get the uh, cookie. Fill it with right. chicken. That's right. You don't uh, get the crisscross cut fries. Sucker. That's. Uh, I'm just trying to make my eat, choice. Yeah, I, I was gonna say you can't really love your decision, man. You're just trying to talk yourself. Yeah, you're <laughs> All right, last one. Last one here. What is the one movie genre you can only watch for the rest of your life? Oh, that's easy. And it could that's be subcategories, easy. meaning you can pick superheroes or whatever, but you can only pick one to watch the rest of your life. Johnny, you're Superhero. up. Superheroes. Superheroes, 100%. They've got the comedy. they got the action. All right. All Superheroes. All right. Okay. Carlos? I love me some comedy movies, but if I had to pick just one genre, it's definitely superheroes. Superhero again. Yes. Uh-oh, we're waiting for Hugh's answer. Wait a second. He's thinking. Any He's film thinking. shot with a filter that <laughs> makes me blind? Yeah. <laughs> 35 millimeters. Has Michael Douglas. <laughs> has a star Michael <laughs> Douglas. Yeah, yeah. Sean oh, Penn. Oh, How many Sean oh, Penn shit. movies can I get? You know what? Can I just pick the game? I'll just watch the game. <laughs> <laughs> we'll make its own genre, the game. Yeah. Uh, hey, what's your favorite type of movies? The game. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, well, no, first. that's his. Well, no, I, I gave no, me I, a game today. <laughs> no, I would say that similar to Carlos, that uh, if I could, you know, I love good horror, but I would have to go with superhero. I would have to go with yeah. it as well. Superheroes have really taken over Hollywood to the point where it's well, not everyone's favorite, most people's favorite for sure. Well, you have to give it to Marvel. Marvel's really giving you some great films. That's what. Yeah. But does it matter? Because the, all the other crap just take with it. Why not? What are you talking about? You got The Dark Knight, you got Christopher Nolan's Batman. You got uh, Man of Steel. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What else do you want, man? There's plenty of movies coming. <laughs> you named three you of them. <laughs> well, you said uh, Chick fil A. You, know, uh, you got Chick fil A. You got Chick fil A. And uh, uh, TNT. What, 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 what <laughs> yeah. do you want from me, man? Okay, I, okay. Wonder Woman, <laughs> Aquaman. But I'm just saying, you're not going to run out. You're not going to run uh, out. No, no, you're never going to run out because they're never going to be stop being made ever. Right. Ever, exactly. Ever, ever, ever. It's hard to beat superheroes. I probably do the same thing. Superheroes, man. It's just you're not going to run out of anything. And that includes the TV. Show. Well, that doesn't include a TV show. I said no. That's so what you sucks. Don't, you don't you get didn't the pick TV show. Disney Plus as your net as your right. streaming service. You're going to miss out on, you know, kind of the gaps. You'll have gaps in your movies. You don't yeah, you'll, be all right. you'll survive. You'll survive. Oh, no. There you go. That's our game called. But if I could kill somebody one. to get another streaming service, mm-hmm. would that? I mean, can I can I do that? Okay, if you, you can kill only somebody? if you could only yeah. kill one Kardashian, you can gain one extra cable channel. Which one are you killing for your extra oh, cable channel? The, uh, the oldest, I would have all of the cable second channels because I'm just <laughs> going to shooting spree at that house. <laughs> I'm killing Bruce. Uh, I'm killing Caitlyn. Yeah, killing but it's gonna take you at least ten bullets to kill. Which Rob. is the one that was married to Lamar? Oh, that's Chloe. Chloe. Chloe's got to go. Chloe's got to go. Always got to go. And part of the reason yeah. is I caught a, a glimpse of keeping up with the Kardashians. I think it was at Lafayette's place one time. They were in Greece. And when she left Greece, she hired a helicopter to come pick her up. And she said a phrase that made me like, this person is really stupid. She said, I YOLO'd so hard. Oh, that's her. She, because that's that like, her phrase. How the yeah. F- what? I YOLO'd. You, I remember that, what? actually. I remember that. I, you, only, you only live once. You only live once, once so hard. So hard. Mm-hmm. I mean, this person needs to get erased. So, yep. yeah, I'm definitely picking up Disney Plus because she's done. <laughs> wow. She's worth a Disney. <laughs> first, first of all, I said a cable channel. No, I, I no, I wanted to trade. A nope, life you get the Disney Channel. Service. You're getting uh, mm. thank Big City Greens, Bluey, mm. all that shit. Yeah, Ooh, Bluey. Yeah. yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, 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 Ooh, and Mickey Shorts. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. You have to kill one athlete. It's between Ronaldo, LeBron James, LeBron Wayne James. Gretzky, and you put Kyrie in there, please. Uh, Otani. <laughs> Which one are you killing? Ooh, who's the last one? Otani. Shohei Otani. Just so Whoa. Oh. oh no, what are you <laughs> about we you know what I like why throw in the I named crime I named the I named the Portuguese guy, the black guy, I throw a white guy in, and then when the Asian shows up, all of a sudden you're offended. You threw uh, in the, the most likable Asian out there. Is he the most likable he, Asian out there? Is he yeah, he's yes, I agree. Super nice and he, is. and he can pitch and he can bat. 
Well, can't dude's so amazing. This year. All right, that's our show. Thanks for tuning in. Carlos will kill a Kardashian just so he can watch Disney Plus because he needs his Daredevil. And uh, just got on there. So and Punisher and all the other good stuff. Oh, Moon Knight. Yeah, Moon Knight. Get good. to watch Moon Knight. Moon Knight. So watch Moon Knight. And that's our show. Thanks for tuning in. A lot of movies we shit on today and uh, <laughs> some good advice <laughs> about uh, streaming services. And what would you do in that situation? Hugh, anything left before we go? Mad I'm good. City? I'm on. No, was Mad Mad's... City a good movie? I have no idea. I've never seen it. Oh, I hate you. Um, <laughs> Johnny, have you seen Mad City? No, what's that about? I have no clue. All right. Well, that's our show. Thanks for I tuning saw in. To... Mad City. And Thanks for asking, though, asshole. Yeah, I, know, I think I think I, I'm pretty sure I know you've seen it. Hey, was it give me a rating? Someone tell me don't, what the don't, fuck it's don't about. Don't tell me about it. Let me, me tell you rating. what it's about. Okay. Oh, the show's over. No, you know but what? It's, I it's say, real quick. It's supposed to be, it's kind of it's kind of like a reverse. It's kind of like a reverse racism. Oh, I know this one. It's, yes. Yeah, African Americans <laughs> have privilege, and the whites are the minorities. That's right. That's what it's about. And it so is the worst concept Travolta ever made. Gets, so Travolta, Travolta gets blamed Hoffman. for like for like peeping at his boss's window when he really didn't. But you know, she's African American, so they're the privilege, and the whites are the minorities. So he gets blamed for all this shit. It's just everything goes sideways. I remember that. Oh my was god! There, uh, shit! A, I had a, no idea. What that is such a bad. Was wasn't there a, a Stallone movie like that too, where Copland? Demolition Man? No, not at all. No, not Copland. No, no. But um, there was a movie where the cops were the victims or some shit like that. Uh, man, you might be talking about Copland, but um, I can't remember that. It was a good movie. I just can't even recall it. Uh, but as for the other movie, the reverse race of the movie, that is such a, I remember that's such a horrible idea. That was such, uh, just, wow. Back in the late nineties too. Yeah. He yeah. was in it. So it makes sense. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> All right. That's our show. <laughs> uh, thanks for tuning in. There's talking to podcast. We'll see you next time for Johnny. See you for you. Ciao for Carlos. Bye-bye. I'm Lafayette. Remember to rate, subscribe, download, review, tell your friends, turn on your notifications. Nerds talking the podcast, a new episode every Friday. And before we leave, Johnny, say goodbye in your native tongue. You already did. You already did. I didn't hear him say Kenichiwa or any of that one time. Well, he's I, not Japanese, so I hate, hate your face. That's it right there. I'm pretty sure when I go to Vietnam, they'll all say that to me <laughs> in this podcast. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Nerds talking the podcast. See you next time.